Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion stream. Hello everybody, hello. What's up? Hello Nils, Dime, what's up man? Sirs, Brian, hello Michael, what's up dude? Alloy, thank you man, I hope so. I appreciate that. Hello. Hello everyone. How is your Wednesday today? What is up guys? Yes, hey Andy, what's up man? How goes it? Yeah, today I thought I'd do something a little bit interesting since we've been playing a lot with, uh, we've done almost all the builds at this point, but what I haven't tried is looking at the, the scaling on some of the elements that work together. So, Frostbite actually scales and, and does increase your strength scaling on some weapons, uh, like my greatsword. You get a B in it while Frostbitten, or while Frostbite infused, and also uh, Fire scales off it as well. So Frost seems to increase uh, one of the physical scalings, whether it's a dex weapon or a strength. It'll, it'll increase the scaling naturally, I think, towards one of them. Like if I had a rapier here, these do better decks. As you can see, they have a C in deck scaling. Uh, but yeah, I thought it would be very fun to try a fire and ice build. <laughs> Just for entertainment, when you frostbite someone, you can you know switch to your fire weapon, reset the frostbite. And they have some cool uh, fire animations as well. So yeah, uh, let's see. What do we want to start off with? I, I also added a curve sword to the build. You can combo the flame into like a strike. I think that kind of stuff looks really cool in this game. It's going well though, it's going well. I still have my baby the great sword. Uh, I've been loving the, the big weapons for the pokes. We got the lance, uh, claymore, some dual wield great swords, great axes with some, uh, I guess I put the hoarfrost stump on that. But yeah, we'll try these all out, see how they go. Uh, I don't know what I want to start with here, but uh, let's just hold, I don't know, the great sword for now. Let's try an invasion here though. Yeah, fire does reset the frostbite. It does. I even tried it on some bosses that I was just killing uh, to grab some stuff and collect some stuff. I still have the huge cup armor. <laughs> Yo, I actually love this armor set. It looks good. Hey, thank you guys. Hope your day's been going well. I had a late start to my day, so we have a late stream going on here. Um, what do we got over here? We got a, a katana bro. Two katana bros. Chosen to do battle together. Well, <laughs> that works. <laughs> I think I got a frostbite in there too right away. That's pretty cool. I think it'll take two to three hits with a big weapon to frostbite because the frostbite buildup's like 134. That's pretty strong on the frostbite, honestly. <laughs> well, <laughs> GG. Good first invasion, I guess. <laughs> Okay, we'll try that. We can try it. What do I have on the great start? I have the multi slash. I'm trying to remember what I put the infusements on. The dragon rider thing. We could try that out. Have I tried the spectral slash? No, I need to grab that still, actually. There's still some ashes of ore I'm going out like through the wiki and collecting slowly that I missed out on. Uh yeah, the the slash one I don't have. Thank you though, based. Actually, I didn't look where to get it yet. I completely forgot about it. Yeah. Well, the crouch with all weapons makes it a roll attack, so you can use it with everything. This actually gets a fast attack if you do the crouch as well. It's just speed mix-ups. It makes, like, react dodging a little harder, which is kind of good, because in this game, you don't get combos, so you really have to time your attacks and mix it up on your opponent, you know? Oh, can it? Uh, yeah, if you have two of the Ansper, I guess you could do, like, Poison uh, Scarlet Rot and then have, like, something else. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much, though, Based. Oh, it's from the Knight's Cavalry. Ah, yeah, I'm sure I haven't fought all of those yet. Or I haven't, I just didn't notice in my Ashes of War. Wait, this way? Yeah. Let's go this way. Some people have said I've sounded like a few other YouTubers as well. Although I've never watched them, so I'm not sure. Hello? Gladys? Oh, God. I know they said they were working on the PvP network recently. Um, wait, he's not even aiming that at me. That was weird, right? Hey. Did you accidentally not turn it around? What the? Is he like DC from me or something? Why is that aggroing into the corner? Very strange. That whole like situation is weird. <laughs> oh, magic darts. Okay, we'll fall back a little bit here. Get some regen going. That guy loves his quick step. 
shield pokes are going to be as strong as ever. We're going to have to deal with that in a separate way. Make him burn his... uh. There we go. Make him panic roll a little bit. Get that shield poke out of here. Um, What is that? I still don't know what all the spells do, honestly. <laughs> it's really cool to like learn as you're fighting it. Got some regen going right now, which is nice. Although my rings are not organized but how they should be. There we go. Whoop. What does that do? Fire buff? Is that like a dart? I don't really know what that does. Is that his weapon? Oh, he's using like the crystal. Oh, I see what he's using. Alright, I got it. Oh, that's got some cool AoE. What is this? Cool, cool. A hunter summon. That's going to be behind me. Hold up. I'm like feeling these guys out. I don't know exactly what their weapons do. I know what that one does though. We've seen that one a great deal. What is that blue doing? Uh, boys. I hate to alarm you. But you should really see what's happening behind you. <laughs> what's going on over there, dude? Hold up. That's a little bit more interesting than our fight. <laughs> what in the hell? Is he still going? He's still going. <laughs> Yo, X-Files Blue. We don't know where he's going, but he's going somewhere. Yo, crazy. Thank you so much, man. Okay, the blue, the blue disconnected. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Might just stick with a uh, quick step here, just because he's using the dragon flame so much. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't need to. But we're just kind of like letting them burn their FP. They're just kind of spamming the ranged attacks. Oh, dude! Good luck, man. Thank you so much, man. I really enjoyed uh, all the time you spent here. I appreciate all of it and the input on the game. <laughs> Thank you, crazy man. Good luck, though. Stay in touch, <laughs> if possible. Oh, boy. Okay, well, maybe they're, uh... What the fuck, man? Okay. That's actually so kind, though, crazy, honestly. That's, like, been every stream. Man, they really are going far to not use a sword right now, huh? Boys. Like, is it is it that hard to do close combat? It's, it's kind of mind-blowing. There you go. Use your damn weapon. <laughs> we have a nice little battle theme at least. I can just dodge through that, right? Yeah. And honestly, twin blades could use like a damage buff a little bit. They don't stun very much. This guy's already gone. Jeez, man. <laughs> They love... A lot of people use a lot of Ashes of War, which is fair, though. They are one of the stronger parts of the game. 100%. Can we roll through that? We can! Okay, that's how you deal with that. Boop. 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 Oh, you had time to dodge it. That's kind of cool. I can appreciate him. Okay, I cannot appreciate him anymore, though. Because now it's a Moonveil. Moonveil coming every second. Oh, there's a summon. Oh, you can't summon him. Oh, no. That's bad for you. Smack. I'll heal as well. Now he's frostbitten. Okay, now we do the fire. Oh, it didn't actually connect. Kind of disappointing. Um, we'll do this. Let me get some of my Ash of War back here. There we go. I wanted to try this for a little bit now. Oh, I thought that comboed. That's depressing. Oh, it does. From time to time. Fun fight, Valdis. I'm not really sure what constituted comboing or not, then. Huh. Maybe I just didn't hit R2 fast enough last time. But that's why I put it on the Curved Greatsword. Good damage. Huh. 
Yeah, I bet. A lot of the buffs are, are interesting like that, man. I agree. They've been strange. Uh, maybe we'll go to the Avenue one. Let's go there. I haven't really used a lot of straight swords myself, but um, yeah. I can hops this. Uh, I used it last stream a decent amount, actually. Yeah, maybe it depends on like when they get stunned by the flame. Yeah, that time I hit him at the end of the, the flame, which probably gave me more time. I'll try to keep that in mind, but I'm using it, actually. Uh, Eleonora's Pole Blade is pretty good. It's Ash of War is really strong. That's like the best thing about it. If you can land it, it bleed procs, but it does have a lower bleed than all the other Ash or uh, Twin Blades. So like there's some give and some take there. Whoop, this way. Yeah, I'm going to try the flame thing again because we'll probably frostbite somebody and then we'll try that flame strike. Oh, or the host died to something that did 1100 damage in like two hits. Boy, that's that's tough. <laughs> the blues dude, yeah the, the blue is funny i i've seen some people not today mark but yeah that'll get patched soon as well i think there you go yeah, definitely Moonveil is probably one of the strongest int options if you're a wizard for a weapon. Yeah, you could always do that, uh, V3. I mean, while it, do it does have negative effects, like they stop losing their stamina regen and stuff when you do that, uh, it's nice to be able to proc it again, so... BAM! BAM! I love that. <laughs> the Lance is so good for that one reason. Its stun is amazing, honestly. I love it. Dual katanas. Is one a moon veil? One is probably a moon veil. Yeah, he's got like the moon veil meteoric setup. Smash. Oh, the fire effect goes through the rolls. Um, are we just gonna forever back away then? Okay. This is why I keep the spears, just to aggress people that kind of just like run away. Works really well. The dual spears is a very aggressive setup. I don't know what he's doing. Instead of attacking. This is a weird one. I mean, you got a moon veil in your hand. You can do some pretty damn good damage. It's almost like he's looking at somebody else. Oh, there's a blue that just got summoned. Hey there. Now you'll fight? Strange. Loving the invasion spread. Doing a few patches, but still, I'm still in love with it, haha. <laughs> okay, let's try something else against the uh, big boy here. The fire, or th let's try the halberd, actually. Um, I'll get the regen flask going. Also, Peter, thank you so much. Yeah, dude, it needs a lot of patches, for sure. They're going to constantly be updating it. <laughs> you don't have to worry too much. They they've been updating the game. They've had uh, quite a few patches already, honestly. So, it's giving me some good hope. Frostbitten, smack. Get some heals back going in here. That has good range. I talked about that on my last faith build. <laughs> um, this thing's damage is, is pretty good. He has frostbitten, so I guess we can hit him to reset it. Will that reach here? It will. It will indeed. That bl uh, oh, we were talking about the network instability though. They they did say they were working on that in a recent patch, but I guess it's still not perfect. <laughs> Unfortunate. Sometimes that just happens. Thank you so much though, Peter. I'm loving it as well, even if it needs some work. Kill. Yeah. Uh, for the person getting Frostbitten, it should lower. If it's like Dark Souls 3's Frostbite, it's going to lower your stamina. You lose a chunk of health from the Frostbite, and your stamina regen is weak. And it also lowers your defenses, I'm pretty sure. It does the same in this from what I've looked at. Uh, did you try a Catch Flame Pyro Dragon? No, I haven't done really like a dragon build yet. I put some dragon casting on my arcane build that one time, but I haven't like full on gone uh, dragon. Whoa. Okay. Hey, man. We both just came to get free rune arcs, I guess. Cool. I'll take it. 
How about you thought of using the finger ring of the horn dude weapons? Yeah, I, I didn't have that for the faith build, uh, Akoli, so we're going to do that next time. I'm going to farm it a bit by the time I do my next faith stream. There's still lots of weapons I have to collect. Thank you. At Chase the Blow, have you ever thought of using the finger ring or the horn? It sounds fun weapons? though. Would love to see a guy as skilled as you use them. Thank you. The dupe weapons sound fun, what like do the you horns, think right? About the usefulness of the backstab plus R1 move on most weapons at Chase the Bro. Uh, Daniel, the backstab? Yeah, I mean, it is useful in the sense that if you space properly, you can get a quick punish in with some of them, but I don't believe you get iframes on the backstab like a roll. So you really do have to have someone kind of running attack into you, I guess it would be the best way. Or if they have a slower weapon that you know you're going to space, you could do it. I don't use it too often because against three people at a time, I don't know. It's just hard to space and get it correctly. But it definitely has its place. If you can, like if someone's doing a running attack at you and you know they're going to do cut it early, you can like try to punish them with it. How do you upgrade a lot of weapons to 17? You can get all the bell bearings in the game and then buy pretty much all the upgrades till level 24 and plus 9. And then after that, you have to collect the ones that allow them to get full. I'm pretty sure the wiki or like a few of the websites have guides on where to get the bell bearings. They're usually like claimed by killing dungeon bosses. Ah, the connection error. So sad. Parkour. Thank you. I, I was working on this fashion. I liked this helm since the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, if Extra Life should have it, I would say. They'll probably have a good uh, guide for that. Uh, Morgoth's Sword? Yeah, I have yet to actually use that because I need to make like a pure dex arcane build. And when I've been doing like the, the hybrid builds, I've kind of kept my strength and dex equal to use as much weapons as possible for streams and videos. I haven't made like a pure dex uh, fate or dex arcane yet. Mine was kind of like mostly arcane with some like strength and dex. I'm going to though. We're definitely going to. Um, try the west capital area. <laughs> yeah, some of the cool armor pieces that actually scale like, like the bleed buff one, like the white mask. It's it's not the best fashion, but you know. It works with the build, so you gotta give it some love. Sometimes. Oh, I 100% think Elden Ring's gonna get a get a deal get a DLC for sure. I don't know how it couldn't. There we go. Oh no, duels are fine, but my entire channel's mostly been based off of invasions because people prefer to watch invasions than duels. It's just how it is. It was like that with Dark Souls Three. It'll be like that with Elden Ring. It's more like chaos going on. More, you know, 3v1s happen. It's just, it's more entertaining, I guess. Even as a player, I find it more entertaining as well. Need more clothings. <laughs> I, I like my fashion. I think my fashion's pretty decent. Use the red axe with the frost on it. Uh, this? Yeah. It actually has scarlet rot and frostbite buildup. Pretty sure I gave it storm stomp. Yeah. Wonder if that'll combo into the R1. I wanted to test that. Thank you, Sammy. I appreciate that, man. Hmm, okay, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, do I think Bleed will get nerfed? I think it should be toned down, for sure, as someone who's used Bleed quite a lot on different builds. Uh, bleed is pretty damn strong. The, the build-up rate is pretty crazy. Right? All the fancy backstab backstabs. Yeah, they won't really work here. You don't think it combos? Damn. Unfortunate. That was just a choice. I was like, maybe I'll get a free great axe hit out of the stomp. That would be cool. Uh, we'll try and we'll see. This way? Uh, wait. Yeah, they must be up at the top. Hello? Hey, you have a big weapon as well. It's a little bit skippy, so it's kind of scary, but... Woo! Stomp! Uh, I really want to test it, but they need to kind of walk into it. Okay, I don't think that comboed. I'm pretty sure I saw him be able to dodge out of that, but he just didn't. Because he was too focused on attacking me. 
But he definitely could have, I think. Oh, that was good. <laughs> the in unison dodge back, though. Oh! Oh, he dodged. Oh, that hit him, actually. <laughs> that was actually working kind of well. It didn't do the best damage, but... Okay, he seems to attack into my stomp. Very interesting. That's a lightning strike, indeed. Oh, I Scarlet Rotted him! Oh! That's pretty cool. Haha. <laughs> I was going to say, can I hit him while he's down from that? Ah, oh, no, not Willy. What was his name? It was Willy. <laughs> Willy, no, come back. I was actually enjoying that fight. Hey, come back here. What do you think you're doing? It's more dangerous over there for you, man. Honestly. Better over here. Oh, I thought that might stun him. What? Aw, dude. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they said they took the servers offline last night to work on the multiplayer, especially the random disconnects, but uh, <laughs> seems like they still need to work on it. And yo, Chris, thank you so much, man. Rip. That was fun, too. I like that. Uh, why do I get randomly shot in PvP? Do you mean, like, uh, disconnected? Or do you mean, like, legit? <laughs> Someone shoots a cannon at you. I'm not sure what you're going for here. Uh, apparent... I don't know, actually, chat. You answer me. I haven't been playing on console. Do they... Do the random disconnects happen on console? Or is that more of a PC thing? You don't believe... Well, some are not random, that's for sure. Like, some are pretty obvious when the players are disconnecting on their own. Uh, but some some definitely appear random. On PS4, it happens to you guys? It happens on console often? Okay. So I guess it's just the multiplayer servers in general. I mean, they even addressed it in their, uh, their patch notes saying they're working on it. So it's probably a thing across the board. Hmm. Guess it just depends if you're lucky or not. Uh, Sammy. Well, I, for me, I just love all the Souls content. So for now, I'll be on Elden Ring because it's brand new. Been loving it. Uh, Dark Souls Three is always great, though. I mean, the the PC servers for Dark Souls Three are still offline, though. Just a quick shout out to that. <laughs> kind of sad for people that still want to play DS Three. Hello there, Kozar. Hey, we're going to have some cool honor fight. I'd be down. Can't tell for sure with the teammate behind, but I'm down. Will he jump in? I don't know, man. I'm going to go this way. And hope he doesn't interrupt. Because I'm liking your Claymore play, honestly. It's pretty good. Oh, I frostbit him. <laughs> oh, you had a really good chance to punish me right there. He missed it, though. Well, I'm down for a long heal fight. Sure. Let's do it. Um, I see. He's frostbitten right now, so... Let's give him the old hot touch. There we go. Thank you. And then we just need to frostbite him again. Oh, nice, crazy. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I try my best to look through my Discord lately. I've just been so involved with the, with the Elden Ring that it's been difficult. Oh. Well. Sure. Alright, then. <laughs> Good fight, Corsair. I enjoyed our time together. <laughs> the other guy killed the other invader, and then he's like, you know what? 
I'm jumping in on this. Thank, Thank you, man. I'll definitely grab that for you. Crazy. Good old 1v1s. Thank you so much, though, man. It means a lot. And Sean. Thank you, man. Let's see. I wonder how if this would buff. This buffs weapon damage, but... What did I put on this? Oh, yeah. This was just for fun. I don't think that's going to be a good Ash of War, by the way. Oh, that took up a lot of FP. Hold up. Was that half the bar? Hold up, let me just hold this. I mean, maybe it would be good if you got someone locked in a corner. That could be useful. At what point would it be, would it be more beneficial to buff them rather than infuse them? Well, if you have the minimum faith At for a buff, point, let's say, it's definitely better to buff, buff it than, than like them? faith infuse it, let's Vice say. Uh, the reason I don't use buffs too much, personally, is because I often am showing like Chad a bunch of different uh, weapons and fighting with a bunch of different weapons. So if I were to buff one, my buff just leaves the second I put the weapon away, right? So like for me, as someone who uses a variety of weapons, I don't buff much. Never have really. Uh, except for when I started the game. I love Dark Moonblade and Dark Souls 3. <laughs> but then I got into trying a bunch of different weapons. But they both work fine. It's uh, it's really up to you because the buffs will, f will scale with your faith as well. You'll probably do more damage buffed, but... It's timed and you have to buff yourself. So it's really like a give and take. If you're being rushed by enemies, you don't have time to buff. Um, but if you do, you're going to hit harder. So, But yeah, buffs are very strong for sure, Jake. 100%. And uh, your IT, thank you, man. They're very strong, though. There we go. Uh, no, this is just my standard full playthrough, uh, Spencer. What the? This one? Thank you, though, Spencer. Uh, New Game Plus doesn't affect PvP, though, invasions or anything. You, your match make on soul level and your weapon level. That's it. Damn. More uh, disconnects today than last stream, though. Very much so. I'd say the dark buff lasts, like, seven seconds. <laughs> I don't know if what they did in the newest update was better. It might be worse, in my opinion. They need to work on that. Uh, they're very different. I mean, this feels a lot more fresh and a lot more fun to play right now. Uh, there are points in Dark Souls 3's PvP system that I think are better, though. So, I like them both, though. Uh, I'm level 90 right now, Wiko. Sorry. There you go. Oh, okay, we got an invasion. They fixed the Endure weapon art. Oh, does it actually work like Perseverance now? Like, you can you get higher poise while using it. You won't You won't get stunned. Uh, no. Your your weapon level is tied to your world. Once you upgrade a weapon, that's why a friend can never give you a weapon that you've never upgraded to. Um, putting something in your grace will never change that. Your character's weapon level is tied to, like, the save of the character. Hello, boys. Hello. How are we? Hello. I don't know what all the buffs do yet. So it's, like, it's interesting when I see someone buff. I'm just, like, what does that do? Seems like he wants to be aggressive right away, so I imagine it's not very long, but very useful. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive, so maybe it's giving him, like, absorption. I would say. Or regen. Possibly. Yeah. The poke is coming, yeah. Oh, um, maybe a great sword then. It's definitely like a regen, I think, from what I'm looking at right now. I was going to say, is he in his menu? Looks like he's regening a little bit. That works with the Claymore pretty well. <laughs> I mean, you had your regen. You could have kept regening. We can get some aggressive lance pokes in here. <laughs> Worth the trade. <laughs> That's a pretty weak uh, jumping heavy actually from that weapon. Okay, we should probably uh, get. Oh, it's frostbite stun. Cool. Oh my god. Rock smash. Rude.
<laughs> Where are we going? That's a long route. Oh, that kind of wrecked me. I did not want to get a backstab right there. He did that in both. Listen, it makes weapons bounce off you. Still take damage oh, there. Oh, okay, I see. Man, I remember watching you since Demon Souls on PS3. This is so relaxing watching you play. Still, man, love you. Chase the blood. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Oh, and goodbye, Corsa. Hey, man. You are T. Thank you, man. And the Hunter. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I've been I've been enjoying all the Souls games. You want to fight him? You go ahead. I've been here a while. <laughs> I think I wanted some heal duel. Um. I want to see something. What's my AR normally? 610. Shit, you killed him. Hang on, I wanted to see this. Hey, dude. 732. Damn. Okay, well, we could use that to our advantage, honestly, with the Ultras. Oh, he did the Dragon Bolt Blessing and makes weapons bounce off you. You still take damage. Okay, it must be like certain weapons because my, my Halberd didn't bounce off him. So uh, maybe the lighter weapons will bounce off you. I could see that. Oh, I was on PS4. Yeah, not PS3. <laughs> but PS4, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just trying no uh, sword seal today because I wanted to try the Shard of Alexander. It boosts your attack power of your skills. And honestly, when I kill people, it tends to be me like roll catching them and then hitting them with the, an Ash of War to finish them. So I figured it might be nice to try and get more damage out of that. I don't know what the percent boost is, though. But I'm hitting hard with some of my Ashes of War, so... Maybe it's doing its job. <laughs> uh, the Sword Seal's not a... I mean, it's it's a damage increase, but honestly, it's worth it to a certain point. Like, um, I talked about this last stream. Man, I don't get invasions in this area much with the Celia area. I could try the Volcano. Um, oh, that's the wrong area. <laughs> Let's see the Water Terminus. But you definitely... Like, I took 30 more hits from, like, a 600 AR Ultra. Just, like, think of it that way. But you get 150 more HP out of the five levels. So, like, after you've been hit five times, you start to be taking more damage at that point. So, for one health bar, it's worth it. But in a long invasion, I guess you start to take more damage. But you also get, like, you know, five more endurance strength and dex. So, it's it's good. If you don't have the points to afford that. Hello, guys. What are we doing here? Is this Storm Stomp? How nerfed is Storm Stomp? That still seems rather long. Am I weird for thinking that? I don't know. It looks it looks pretty big. That seems like the same damage it's always done. I, it didn't explode though, but you know. Yeah. I have to see how much it does. They're kind of patient though. They don't seem like the type that are going to get hit by it really easily. This guy's pretty aggressive. There's a rolling goat back there. That guy wants to do a jumping L1. <laughs> how did I know? Okay, what's my map here? Oh. Didn't think that would reach me. Whoop. Okay, we're going to take it away from this open area that that guy can just kind of like hover around and run with his double hammers. I want him to not have visuals on me at all times. Oh, that hit him. Okay, that did a fair chunk of his HP. It's not too bad. I tried to get him before it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all, actually. In your opinion, is magic with combos or and stuff, or could you build with dragon and games more fun in slash PvP? Oh, Love hang on, content. I gotta read that in a second while I'm fighting this. May I ask what your internet speed is? Oh, Are sure, that I can answer. I have a, a, a gigabyte download, possible. and then I have a uh, 60 upload. The disparity between the two is pretty funny, uh, <laughs> but yeah. It's more than enough to stream in 1440p with uh, what I have up. Um, that was weird. Why did that not hit him? Can we hit each other? Me and the host? Strange. That was weird. Thank you so much, though, Isaac. Yeah, I have a gig down and then 60 up. Uh, Robert, in your opinion, is magic with Comet Azer and stuff on bleed? I haven't tried a uh, pure wizard yet, so I don't know, to be honest with you. I have not done that. Can I hit him with that? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. As long as I can punish it, it's fine. That's not who I am at. 
<laughs> My rolling attack doesn't like me today. I have to manually aim that, I guess. I feel like that jump attack is going to do a uh, d damage when it comes into play here. <laughs> oh, okay, we need some higher DPS going on here. We need to take out the Phantom really quick. It's got a shield. Uh, but I do have to make a pure wizard build for sure soon. Burja, go heal so I can kill your Phantom. There we go. Now we can try out some stuff. Let's see if this combos again. He is frostbitten, so I mean it works with the fire. There we go. That actually worked, and it stunned him. I didn't think it was going to hit him, though, to be honest. Oh, that's a great roll catch. He rolls, like, into it, so... It's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> oh, that looks so fancy, honestly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what a chad, honestly. I'm loving the R2s he's got going on there. <laughs> Fun fight, man. Let me read that though, Vish. In your opinion, is magic with calmer as her and stuff or a bleed build with dragon incantations more fun? I personally, oh, you said more fun. Yeah, I haven't really tested being a wizard, like a pure wizard, but I think a more variety of weapons for me personally is more fun. So the arcane build has quite a, a variety. I think I'd rather that, but if you do enjoy casting and stuff and it's for you, then yeah, it's, it's the best in Elden Ring that it's ever been in the Souls game. So I'd say go for that if you love magic. Yeah, yeah, the fire attacks are meant to cure the frostbite, uh, AJ. That's what they're for. So when, when someone gets frostbitten, you can't frostbite them again while they're frostbitten. So I, I get rid of it with the fire attack. That way I can proc the frostbite again for another health chunk. If you want to. I mean, it's up to you. You don't have to use the fire. But I, I love this type of build. It's always been fun to me, even in Dark Souls 3. Uh, my favorite build so far? I don't really know. I've kind of liked all of them. <laughs> they all have something to offer that I've enjoyed. Yeah, this patch didn't have any uh, balancing, I think. It just tried to fix some networking things and... Uh... What else? It did fix some things. Apparently it fixed the game crashing often, which I didn't experience much. It happened to me once a stream, I guess, but... Uh, I, have a, I have a streamer friend named Lost that he uh, had his game crash like five times <laughs> in one stream. So it was definitely an issue. Just it was only fixes. Yeah, they didn't balance any of the weapons or anything last night. I think they're going to again. Obviously, they're constantly going to balance. They've been rolling out patches pretty quick though. Happened to you five times? Yeah, it's only like my game only crashed one time. Not today, but like on streams, it's happened. I think it was more in my playthrough than anything, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they fixed the infinite death loop that people could throw you into. That's true. That's all. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I forget that when you invade anywhere on Mount Gilmere, a lot of the time you spawn up here. I'm not sure why that is a thing. They could be all the way at the bottom of the hill, to be honest. And oftentimes they are or they're climbing up. Uh, I play on PC, Daniel. Thank you, man. <laughs> this is technically a boss invasion, yeah. Uh, I think they're going the other way, though. I think. Okay, I guess I'll go down that way. To avoid a bridge battle. Honestly, fighting on that bridge is annoying. Whee! This is a long ladder. <laughs> Wow, I didn't realize that before. 
Oh, they're, they're coming back. Wait, I wonder if there's something I can do that would be very useful here. Um... Oh, that, no, that's more useful for them. <laughs> Wizards in their natural habitat are going to have a good time here. Oh, that hit me. Oh my god, let's go. You know what we do over here, boys. Oh shit. You think that'll work? Oh, it did hit him, but I, it didn't stop the beam, so overall, not the best. I can parry the other magic, though. <laughs> we have the anti-wizard shield. Are you lucky? <laughs> Still casts it, that's hilarious. Absolute Chad status on him right there. <laughs> I love that we can deflect magic. It's so good. <laughs> when you miss, though, it sucks. For sure. Watch out for that madness meter, my man. <laughs> Shoot some more things that I can deflect. I dare you. I dare you just RPG. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> They're ignoring everything. <laughs> This wizard has a lot of wizard juice. Anybody else noticing that? It's quite the wizard juicer. <laughs> I love that he's rolling at me. Whoa! Whoa! Shit. I think you can cast that so many times, Wizard. <laughs> it's honestly impressive how much mind people invest. I think he's out of health now at this point, though, so. It'll be fine. Nice, we made him waste the cast as well there. That's like their hardest hitting spell, too. Uh, I wanted to parry it. <laughs> I still got some juice left. I oh, fell off the cliff. GG. <laughs> 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 that was funny. The wizard still had more FP, actually. Did you see that at the end? They busted out the billion casts <laughs> it's pretty good though against like if you have the ability to use that that's why i kept it on the build honestly it's really useful by the controller swap you naturally play with the playstation controller yeah i play with the playstation controller i'm still playing with the ps4 controller yeah <laughs> never swap controller I don't even, I like the PS5 one, don't get me wrong, but PS4 is still my preferred. Um, damn, they might be up top, huh? Let's try the finger. Wait. Well, hey, Red. Oh, they're up even more? 
the only other place they could be is like up by the boss. I personally prefer the PS4 to the PS5 just because I find they made the touchpad like too like big. I don't know. I like the spacing on the PS4 controller. Yeah, clawing on the PS5 is weird. PS4 is so nice. Could you spam the counter? No, no, you have to reflect a magic attack of some kind, a magic projectile. I think it works on fire as well, but sounds like they're up here or yeah. Hey guys. Hey. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Bap. Now I have a teammate. This is a pretty cool place for a fight. Oh my god, dude. Is your entire build that? I swear. <laughs> that lightning miracle is the death of me sometimes, man. Oh, he's fat rolling. Oh. That's unfortunate, then. Oof. Let's see how this does against someone who's fat rolling. Oh, it, well, it didn't hit him, so. Come in here, Twin Blade lad. I gotta do it a little bit earlier for a roll catch. Oh! The jumps on Sephiroth. You see that? Good jump, man. Honestly. Thank you. I'd appreciate you getting him off me. Oh, that's bad. I'm alive though. That guy's purely ignoring the other red and trying to hit me. <laughs> Typical strats, really. Oh man, okay. I'll go deal with him. Buddy. Bleed is always strong. Oh, that poor guy. Okay, yeah, they have a cancer set up here. That guy just spams the lightning spell. That is not what I meant to do, but... Holy shit. That's a fun one. Definitely a fun one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna join you, Mr. Quick Stepper. Now I have my own. Back to that I see. Some regen going. That has to be the most annoying Ash of War I've seen in a long time on a team. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> How many can you cast, man? The answer. All of them. Can cast all of them. <laughs> Whoop! We almost good on that? I don't know. Kind of out of FP as well. So we're gonna have to dodge this. Alright, you're dead. Alright, now we can have some fun here. 
That'll give me some FP back, which is great. All right, Mr. Slick Jackson. Show me what you got. You and me alone, my man. You and me alone. <laughs> Let's crawl at you. <laughs> oh, he's tanky, actually. Let's do... You know what? The Lance is a better weapon against this guy. Kind of just like runs backwards. As we can see here. Is this really the strat? Run away after all that. I guess it makes sense. Alright, GG. <laughs> hey man. Yogurt, you have no idea what I just went through. I don't need any of your shit. <laughs> GG though. Oh, just, yeah, that's because uh, Steam often just displays the Xbox controls. I don't know why they do that, but they've, they've always done that for every game I've tried, honestly. They always have the Xbox controller layout on the game. Yo, Sab, thank you so much, man. I've been watching for a long time. People always were running your builds after streams. That's cool, though. You know, people that are new to the game, they don't know how, like, uh, stat investment works. So I'm happy to help out. It takes time to get better at the game. But a good build helps for sure. There we go. Uh, not yet, Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, there's still so many I have to collect. Some are just a pain to farm. Like the the one that the Faramazula enemies have. What is it called? Thank you, the Sebadas. Sebadas. Thank you, man. And Aldo. Thank you, Aldo. Thank you for the membership, my man. Welcome. It's because Windows doesn't natively support DS4 or 5 controllers. Yeah, so I guess Steam does, right? It's the Steam configuration that I use to use it on games. That makes sense. So you could use a controller on Windows. I guess for non-Steam games, that would make a lot of sense, yeah. I've never really attempted to use an Xbox controller, so... Try here. There is a lot of uh, yeah, items to farm. I have to go do that one. Uh, I don't even know what the name of the sword is, but the, the Faramazula enemies have them. The Switch Pro controller is comfy as hell, Richard. I, I agree with you on using that. I got it recently for my Switch. Uh, it's, it's really comfy, actually. John! All right, let's go with... I actually like the curved sword with the flame. It's actually a lot of fun. The, what is the Ash of War called again? Um, it's, it's, I think it's Flame Slash. Yeah, you can use the PS5 controller on Steam. Uh, I think I used that. I tried it on Dark Souls 3 back then, but it, uh, I still prefer PS4. Oh, damn. He might be up top. Beastman Curve Sword. That's what it is. It's like the Curve Great Sword one, right? I've personally never uh, tried a Steam controller. I don't even know what they look like, to be honest. Yeah, they're all just personal preference. I guess I like uh, PlayStation Symmetry for the analog sticks. That's why I like it more than Xbox. But I've used Xbox a lot as well, because I used to play a ton of Xbox. Oh, hey. Up top, maybe? Oh, you're right. I'm dumb. Flaming Strike. <laughs> I actually know that, but I completely spaced. When I was talking about the Ash of War. Oop. I'd have to look at the Steam one. I'm not sure. I did recently buy a new PS4 one though because my stick drift was getting annoying on my other one. And then for some reason, my oldest version of the PS4 controller, Steam no longer recognized. I don't know. There was some weird update, but like the newer versions of the PS4 controller worked for me, but not my first one from like the original PS4. It was very weird. Fire invades with no torch? Damn, I forgot, AJ. 
I did, do they scale off strength though, or is it is the torch like a faith torch? I don't know. There we go. Ciao. I haven't I haven't fully tried it, Humongous, to be honest. I haven't. Uh, on an enemy, though, it did 200 more damage on, like, a PvE enemy. So, if that's any, like, correlation to how it works in PvP, that's pretty damn good. I'd have to test with a friend. I was planning to earlier, but he wasn't online to test it, so I'm just trying it out now. Maybe my PS4 controller is destroyed. Maybe it is pretty old, that one, anyway. That was, like, from the when the PS4 first came out. This way. Hmm, maybe they're in the castle. This area is an interesting one to invade, actually. Uh, couldn't you fit the torch pole? Yeah, I probably could have. Uh, I just didn't grab it. <laughs> Lost Wonder. There's lots of weapons I still have to get. I've been trying to collect them after stream. Uh, this is actually one of the ones I got recently. The uh, dismounter. I never farmed it before. Oh, they're by the middle building. Okay. Thank you. Couldn't you fit the torch pole into this build? I've never no. seen someone use it before. You, you, get me out of here. It's smelly. I don't want it. Um. Okay. Twins. Twin sickles. I wanted to say. What? What? Oh. Okay. That's not gonna be a good matchup. Then we're gonna put that away. We'll use the beautiful lance for aggressiveness. Oh, that was good. He's already got some regen going. Let's get the blood step. Okay, we frostbit him. Now we need the fire. To the fire and the flames we carry on. Mine one out there because his defense was low. <laughs> and then we go back to the frostbite. I love this. It's a lot of work though. You do have to do a lot, but when you land it, more than worth it. Then you go back to the fire. Oh, you kind of aggroed an enemy, my man. You aggroed the whole area, actually. I kind of feel bad. Smack! Oh, bad, Josh. Chase Ward, Theodore Brosif the <laughs> third. Okay, let's. You know what? What about the Windmill Village? We never invade near there. Oh, well, this character is 90, Raphos. I'm trying out all soul levels. So, like, different soul levels will definitely get different activity at different areas. Because of the, of the way people progress through the game, right? So. I'm trying out uh, different levels to see what ones are the most active for what areas. It was like that with Dark Souls as well. Um, More of the dismounter. <laughs> These things have such creepy singing and dancing. Oh, yeah, I have three characters at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I haven't used a lot of daggers myself, but rapiers work well. Ah, uh, rush. It's hard to say, because I'm still like working on builds and trying out all the weapons. I haven't tried the death poker yet, but I recently added it to the strength pillar, the strength int, Celuus. So, I'm gonna try to switch up that build a little bit to use those. Oh yeah, you'll probably get invasions at every level. Uh, different areas though, you get more, like there's more activity at different areas. Death poker is nuts. It looks cool. I like it actually. Yeah, so level 60 is like Liurnia is definitely the, the main area for that. You know, 90 where I'm at is kind of like closer to the end game and the, the city. I love the capital city. Even Kaled as well. Still works. I guess this area is a bit weird for what level I am right now. Not finding too much near this village. 
can go more towards the... Oh, wait, it was failing. That's why it was taking so long. Yeah, I honestly think whatever they did in the last update made the networking worse. <laughs> if that's... That's strange to say, but I've had more disconnects today. Oh, they're up there. Hello. Oh, hey, look, a team invader. That's pretty cool. Oh, and a Moonvale. That's not very interesting, but, you know, it is what it is. Hello there, Moonvaler. Hello. Double Scyther. Okay. It's almost like a... Oh, that guy just got wrecked almost. Smash! Oh, it's like a Halberd almost. Oh, it's like a dual bleed halberd. That's kind of cool, man. I actually like it a lot. He's not panic rolling it either. Except for that one. I like when I say that he does it, but like, he wasn't prepared. Kya. Kya. Fun fight, man. Oh, is the moon veiler the, the host? Oh, I thought I had those. Well, I don't know what we want here, but you know, personally, I want to deal with the moon veil. Get off. Dishonest moon veil. Chunking everyone's HP. Get out of here. Ain't nobody like the moon veil. <laughs> Maybe the twin blade. What could be an interesting one? I don't want to hit my teammates, so. I believe in you. Ah. I'm coming, man. I love the Guardian Sword as well, man. Especially with the flame attack. It works really well because it's a strength weapon. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Get him, boys! Backstab! That'll never work, but I, you know, sometimes I hope. I hope for the best. Kya. Kya. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect that. All right. That was an interesting one. You don't get a teammate much. That's cool. <laughs> Yo, he actually did the <laughs> Oh, he did the double Estus explosion. That's funny. Uh, my character started as a Vagabond. And gaming with Moonvale. <laughs> I know, 99. <laughs> Shh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> that was before I knew how strong it was. <laughs> it's really fun though, I'm not gonna lie. It's, more, it's mostly a meme for me to hate on the Moonvale at this point. Although it still is very strong. I think it does need a, a damage tone down. Same with Bleed. And I've used Bleed as well. Hey, Alucin, thank you so much, man. Uh, how do you know the ideal weapon upgrade? I don't really. Uh, we were kind of just testing at this point. Uh, I'm seeing like what I had in a playthrough, and I'm trying to match like that per area and see how the invasions go. It's been pretty good so far. Um, hard to say, though. You want to do different builds for different areas and invasions? Yeah, it hasn't fully been figured out. I'm sure eventually we'll have like a, a good upgrade path for each area. How do you know the ideal weapon upgrade level for As of right now though, level. I don't know that. I'm just I'm guessing. I'm trying to understand it so I can do some different builds for invasions. Kya. Oh, I use rapiers quite a lot, uh, Joaquim. But just not on my strength build. I mean, I have them. I could use them. But they scale better off of decks. I just have them more because they're, they're fun in certain scenarios. I have my rapiers on my, like, arcane build and my, uh, my original playthrough. I had a dex int, so they're on that. You can see activity on the map. Yeah, you definitely can. But it's kind of everywhere at all times, so it's like it's a it's a rough indicator. <laughs> I feel like you'll always find invasions everywhere. Although I'm finding a lot more tauntered tongers today. Hello. Although that's this kind of looking like a one v one thing. A lot more teams, man. We've been uh, finding a lot less of them. Wow, I don't even know how to leave properly. <laughs> There's been like some twos, but I want more threes. 
I'm on PC. Yeah, some of the ones that didn't drop in my playthrough, so I'm missing some of the weapons for sure. Try Kaelid again, you think? Yeah. It was pretty active there. I wonder what part of Kaelid is the most active. Hang on, let me just go to the beginning of uh, Landell really quick. And then we'll go to Kaelid. Uh, well, the higher level you go, Tanner, the less of a player pool you're going to hit. Because not many people level that high. <laughs> that takes a lot of hours to do. So you're just kind of like cutting yourself more and more off from PvP. Yeah, the RL80 is pretty active. I think it's a little more than 90. It's like instant. This is like almost instant. But I like 90 as a level. And like 90 to 1, like 40 is probably where I'm going to sit. Depending on what I want to make. <laughs> also, you can't beat the ambiance of this area. You really can't. Hello. Hey, wait. Did we fight earlier? I feel like you look familiar. You look very similar. To the one dude I fought earlier. Or that team that was on the rock area, yeah. Well, that's full bleed death, yep. Okay, see? That's what we talked about with bleed being a little too strong. You couldn't even roll out of that. <laughs> oh, GG. That and like some of the damage weapons are probably the only ones I would say need a tone down. Because, what was it? There's a weapon like the Curved Swords and the Twin Blades, if you have them seppuku'd, uh, and you hit somebody, it'll instant bleed, and then if they have a teammate, you just forever stun to death. There's not much you can do to optimize against that. <laughs> it just continuously bleeds, so you keep getting stunned. Yeah, bleed is like the one stat proc that I, I could say, like after using, uh, it needs a tone down for sure. Yeah, bleed will probably be the first thing that'll get balanced next. Hello. How are we? At least I'm immune at the beginning. Mostly just like the seppuku and mixed with the bleed infusion. It's so strong comparatively to like a lot of the other type of infusions. Hello there, Aisha. Very aggressive, which I can appreciate. Oh, is that a dragon? Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, it is a dragon. Yeah, dual seppuku is way stronger than rivers of blood. And I've used rivers of blood. Um, the dual seppuku on like fast weapons, instant bleeds in 1L1, and then it, you can just continue uh, bleeding them like that. So that is the one thing that I would say needs a pretty decent chunking. <laughs> a decent nerf anyway. Oh shit, that's gonna explode. Yeah, not all of it, like bleed. It's just it's mostly just like the rate of bleed. The damage is fine. Um, the rate needs to be toned down. Like how quick they can bleed somebody. It's really really intense. Okay, we need to get by this though. Yeah, dual seppuku. If someone sets that up and they land in L1, uh, you're getting bled, and then they can just keep L1ing. So, how much you can do? Yeah, Arcane increases bleed rate. That's why Arcane builds are kind of like the most common right now. <laughs> I think I need to craft more explosive bolts though. Hang on a second here. Let's get... What is this right now? The dual slash? Yeah, we can maybe go with that. Hey there. Okay, two of them fell, so we have the host here. Which isn't bad at all. Oh. Aw, oh, that would have been so cool. Disappointment. <laughs> Crossbitten. Better trade for me. His teammates are behind him, though. Oh, that was cool. So jumps do have iframes, see? We talked about that. He just has to jump at the perfect time. Right in your face. Dodge by that.
<laughs> oh fuck. Parkour! <laughs> Having a dragon in that room is not ideal. No, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. Not the flies! My eyes! Oh, hang on, my head's really uncomfortable on my head, too. Let the regen do a little bit of the work here and drink one of our flasks. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the dragon breaths are pretty scary out of all things. I think I'm out of this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any. I took them off last time for the reason. Hey, boys. <laughs> They're coming in as an, like an absolute unit. I love it. Hey. Wait, I have an AoE. It's called this. I feel like that room just kind of ignored everyone. Woo! Parkour. <laughs> hey there. Wow, that guy doesn't roll. <laughs> what a brave guy. Okay, next time we're gonna go for a trade with him then. <laughs> the random dragon breath. That's kind of sending me every now and then. It's funny. Oh my god, more, no! Ah. Dodge the corridors, dodge the corridors! Avoid the dragon breath! Aw, oh, man, that was a fun one! Aw, oh, dude! That's lame. That one could have been a great one. Damn. F, dude. Very much so. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, they have their place. Oh uh, yeah, I used the ants for a rapier, a tanner on my arcane build, if you want to like check out that video. I did a lot of the arcane stuff. That was a sick fight, honestly. There was so much more to go, too. Had a 21 invasion in that area. Yeah, this area is really cool, man. There's a lot of places to go to get a rooftop battles. I think Leandale's like one of my favorites to invade. Yeah, it's mad. They're, they're constantly doing updates and they addressed that in their last patch saying that they're working on the stability. But uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot of disconnects today. Oh, thanks, Mitchell. I've just played Souls games quite a lot. So, like, the spacing's always the same. It's just, like, you have to get used to the, the stuns of the weapon and uh, the hyper armor and the, the poise. But they're, they're similar. There's key differences, for sure. But I think the jumping has iframes. I don't know. Maybe, like, I, I think it does to an extent. Like, maybe right when you jump. Because my spear was in his stomach and it didn't hit him. But more testing. It did in the network test. I don't know if they changed it, though, for the actual release. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be using Dex Faith, Dex Int. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good example. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm not a fan of the dragon breath. Can you tell? This wall is my ally. I, just please don't do it again. Please. Oh, but I'm a fan of the wizardry. Indeed, indeed. Oh, yes. Some more pews. Always welcome. Here, we're going to parry his. Ah, I did not work. That's sad. Maybe I have to be, like, looking directly at it. Did that reach all the way over? No. Okay. Can you not parry that one, maybe? You can't. I think you can't. Huh. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing, actually. E, this is a risk, but I want to take it. 
Oh, <laughs> it's not long enough range, really? That looks so cool. Back at you. <laughs> That's so sad. Ah, uh, he realized that one can, uh... I can't deflect that one, sadly. <laughs> it's really fun, though. Man, shoot some more things. I was having fun ping-ponging that. Shutting gone. <laughs> oh, there was one left. I... You gotta wonder when they do this what they hope the net outcome is gonna be because... You know, like, you can't, I couldn't parry that one. Oh, fuck. Man, they have a lot of FP. Like, a lot of FP. Like, it's, it's impressive, almost. Especially the guy with the dragon breath. Okay, he's drinking one. What if I aim this at the other guy? Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Fool! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> You've supplied me with too much power to kill your teammate. <laughs> FP the build, by the way. Wait, can I not get up there? Is that why he's camping up there? Oh. Let me think. What do I have that can get up there? Anything? Oh, hang on. Ash of War, Ash of War, Ash of War. This might work. Oh, can I jump? No, I don't think you can jump up on that. Oh. Okay, um... Warfrost? I bet you Horfrost is dumb and works. Maybe. <laughs> he left. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Yeah, you can't get up there without your horse, I'm pretty sure. Wait, you can't use your horse in this city. How did he get up there? Wait, I'm dumb. I know how he got up there. <laughs> Little coward. <laughs> Come back here, uh, wizard. Coward! <laughs> Little coward! Come back here. You would run circles. This would be your strat. And you would also have that just to run away. Not even to fight. You run out of FP eventually. I'm just gonna walk at him. This would be your strategy. Get out of here. <laughs> As if. That's funny. <laughs> this man deserves it. As if he was set up on that. Oh, that's really funny though. You gotta you gotta hand it to wizards. They find new ways each time to be more cowardly. That's <laughs> really it's really good. At least he had something inventive going on there. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Maidenless behavior. <laughs> That's actually funny. Didn't expect that.
Uh, you can't use most of the Arcanes. You can use Mogs, but it takes 10% of your HP from what I've read. So I don't want to lose HP just to make a the enemies around me a little stronger. That doesn't sound like a good time. <laughs> Maidenless. Well, we're all kind of maidenless, right? Well, I guess I have Ronnie. She's a maiden. <laughs> right. Uh. Let's see this way. This area is one of the more confusing to invade, I find. Um. Twin blade, maybe? What did I put on it? Oh yeah, that flame strike actually came in handy. Yo, good. Down. Hmm. Before I run out, though, what if they're on this side? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can swap any button with any button. You can make jump triangle. If you're crazy, <laughs> you can do it though. No, I'm joking. I do that a lot for most games, but for Dark Souls, I have my uh, controls always standard just because they're always what I'm used to. Okay, it seems like they're not in here. Okay, we can go out then. Dogs? Um, okay, I'm near... No, I'm not near them. They're up top. I hate two-handing stuff in this game. It takes a while to get used to holding triangle and hitting like... Oh, you could two-hand your fists in this? Wow, you couldn't do that in Dark Souls. Like, you can actually just change to like, not wielding your right hand weapon. That's funny. Oh. I see we're doing wizardry. I see we're doing the infinite wizardry as well. He drank his like, infinite FP flask. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I'm out of here. No stars of ruined cheese for me today. Not today, sir. Not today. No, no. No, no. I'll be going this way. Yes, yes. Sounds like a play. Classic majory. Ma magic debauchery. Hello. I'll be using these staircases to avoid your unavoidable magic, sir. Rooks. Let me just crawl at you. Oh, that's why we have the heal ring on, you know? Nice. Burn through your magic, sir. My health is regening. I'm not too worried. A little worried about both of you being wizards. That's kind of scary. Can't deny that. If I use the environment. There they go. They like this little flat area. Oh, that's not too bad. I can dodge that. Oh, that's not even long range, to be honest. Um... Oh wait, what am I doing? How could I forget this? How does one forget the magic shield? I'm silly. I'm a silly goose. Oh, he's got a whip. Fire more of your pews, sir. Now I want the pews. I'm here for it. You think I can't predict where you're going, please? I know where you're going. Please. Yo, Indigo, thank you so much, man. I do, I do. I use it from time to time. I think this will work. It does. I got hit, kind of, though. Hmm. I got chipped by that, too. Tough calls on if it's worth it or not. This guy's a perfect, like, oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. I don't think I can deflect that one. He's out of FP though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? <laughs> oh, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say that he returned home. You don't say. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that was an unfortunate turn of events for you. You don't say that your wizard left. <laughs> that was always fun. <laughs> yeah, this is lots of magic spam. It happens. But yo, Indigo, thank you so much, man. Uh, I'll keep the pressure when you're chasing them. Yeah, yeah, I have been using that. Uh, I do have a lot of stamina as well. Although it does slow you down a little bit, so... Sometimes, like, I use it in certain scenarios. Oh, they'll always do that, Jaiko. They don't understand that it's just a game. The game is real life to them. If they die in the game... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but people get way too mad at a video game. Uh, I, the carry and retaliation is a bit on the strong side right now. I used it to show, like, show it, um, but it's it's kind of broken at the moment. It does too much damage, so I don't want it to use it. It like one shots people. So, oh man, I was gonna fight while talking. Oh okay. Well, thank you though. I appreciate the donation, man. It's only a game, you know. Thank you. Yeah, you know, you got to give it time to balance out. At the moment, it's in balance, but it'll get better. <laughs> Ran out of FP. <laughs> that's the, the wizard life. Damn, that's unfortunate for Fishian. Oof, that can happen, though. I mean, you, the net code. The net code's... A, oh, I almost thought I fell off a cliff. <laughs> that really scared me. Hey, you don't need to be honorable. You're invading. I mean, by you know, by definition, you're literally barging your way into someone's game. I don't expect them to be honorable to me, so I just kind of meme with it. Where are we going? Fighting on a tree. Fighting on a tree. Fighting on a tree. There we go. Was DS3 this imbalanced? No, but. DS3 also didn't have this much stuff. Hello, Dora. DS3 has far less magic to go around. Uh, any reason we're hiding behind the corner? Now he's frosted! You know, I haven't actually had a fog wall cheeser since Dark Souls. This is a rare occasion. Are you, are we good? I love the bull goat set with the fog wall cheese. Screams very much skill. Much well. <laughs> you got hit once. Don't go in the fog wall yet. It's not over. <laughs> Don't worry. I just got to make sure I kill him with the with the frostbite build up. Get away from the wall. Scary. No, no, no. Coward. Ha! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, difficult. Oh. Ah! A whole new level of bad. Oh my god. Amazing. Good. Hey. <laughs> hey. We got the point down. Hey, we deserve it. Apparently. How mad do you think you would have been if I backstabbed him in this? He's tauntered tongue too. Like he wants to one v one, but that's where he wants to one v one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing player, really. The epitome of get good right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the volcano. People are hilarious. 
Thank you. <laughs> that was pretty Thank funny. You. <laughs> For Elden Ring to DS3 so far, oh, don't know if good. already asked Lowe. Uh, at the moment, I definitely do, but what you need to take into consideration is I played Dark Souls 3 for like five years, so, you know, I did all there was to do in that game. This game has so much possible content, like, I don't even know how long we could play, be playing Elden Ring and not even find everything. It's amazing, honestly. Thank you so much, by the way, AJ. And, uh, Gray, uh, wait, sorry, do I prefer Elden Ring? At the moment, I do. 100%. At the moment, I do. They're going to be doing constant updates and balancing changes, you know, where Elden Ring is not getting, I mean, Dark Souls 3 is never getting changed, so. Uh, and Creep, or Keeper, thank you so much. Uh, do the rapid doing that in combat, combat weapon? weapon inventory stuff while also being able to see and move. Just First a lot of practice. So, <laughs> sorry if it's obvious. No, there's no, there's no secret to it. It's just a lot of time investment in the game. Like, I, I just, I hold circle, let's say, while I'm running, and then I hit start X quickly, and then I'm in my menu, and then from here, if I go to my rings or my... My weapon, I'm using my left hand to operate the D-pad while I use my left thumb to use the analog. That's just, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm clawing on the controller, but also I have a lot of time investment in the game, so I know how to operate the menu as well. Oh, how do I change the menu? If you mean how do I change the menu uh, visuals, you just click R3. Like that, it's simple as it puts it in its simple form. If that's what you mean. There's activity everywhere, yeah. Sometimes just like other people are invading, right? So they'll get an invasion where you are, and you can just like go mix it up, change it your area. Um, we could try here. Are these tunnels? That's Saint Hero's grave. Oh my god, that'd be so evil to invade. Actually, <laughs> that'd be terrible. Um, even here could be cool. Yeah, the frenzied flame village. It's kind of cool there. Yeah, Volcano Manor is... Eh. I like invading it. I just don't get a lot of invasions there. Oh, yeah, they're 100% making a DLC. This is like their biggest game. Like, it's, I don't have any doubt. Yo, ITG. Thank you, man. Hope your day is going well. Why do I prefer PS4 to 5? Well, I only have one PS5 controller. It has stick drift. And I just prefer the size of the PS4 controller. It's a lot easier for me to claw grip and like use my menu and stuff. I can still do it on PS5, it's just not as comfy. That's all. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, if you guys are in the menu and you're looking at the map, if you just hit left bumper, it'll uh, show you all the activity. I mean, it even looks like it's active here, like alternate. We could even try it with the Weeping Peninsula, I guess. I'm just assuming we won't get much because of our level, but who knows? You could be any level anywhere, I guess. The one shot, yeah. I mean, there's no real secret to deal with it, Jake. It's a, it's an exploit that'll be patched eventually. It is annoying, though. I agree. I haven't seen it today, but I'm sure we'll run into it. Uh, the blue red marks. I'm assuming just online activity between like a host and an invader, uh, like summons and invaders. I guess no real explanation on it. Yeah, I was looking at the explanation. I don't really get the coloring, but I think it just means there's active online happening right there. That's my best guess. <laughs> Co-op's blue, invasion red. Ah. Uh. Red marks people doing PvP and blue doing co-op. Yeah, they're always like beside each other. So I mean, yeah, they're probably like the same. Yo, Tyler, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, is it worth to go to New Game Plus? I would say if you want to host and like co-op through the game with your friend, yeah, do it. If you want to invade, uh, I would say don't do it because you have to re-go get like all of the map again to be able to invade around, right? So, Yo, William, thank you so much as well, man. Uh, the Yorm's Machete video. Yeah, that weapon was kind of cool. Yeah. See, this area is just like too, too low level really for what I am. Thank you. The underground is active. We can go there. Watch a lot of DS3 content. Is it worth it to go in G plus one or just start a new character with a different build? Also, what is your top three hardest bosses in this game? Um, I died the most to Melania and Radon, I guess. Video in DS3 so I would say those two, I suppose. Stats? But they did uh, nerf Radon in one of the Level patches. 90, the go to four invasions are in. 
trying my hand at some. Um, I've been testing all levels daily. So far, hard man. I like my build at 90. <laughs> 90 to 120, I'm going to have like a really complete build. 80 had a lot of activity like everywhere. So 80 might be the best for like just getting instant invasions um, for like build completion duels and stuff. I would say 120 to 140 and uh, a little bit less invasions at the moment because not all players are there yet. Hello. Hey guys. What do we got going on here? Smack, smack. Oh my god, guts. What? You boys AFK. What's a meme we can do here? Well, fine then. <laughs> Summon a new one. <laughs> do you not even see me <laughs> or care that your, that your teammate died? That is the longest. Did you really not see me? He he now is locked on. That guy is dying eternally. First time seeing you have bro got any ideas for a deck <laughs> slash faith build. I've got weapons to use or spells. Also Ooh, any ideas to find loot. Looking real have scary. a good night, brother. <laughs> Stay safe. Thank you so much, Brandon. Honestly, that is there's like two builds I haven't done yet. Dex Int for PvP and Dex Faith. So I don't know all the weapons to recommend to you yet, but my next stream I should be doing one of the two. And if it's Faith, I'll have some answers for you. But if you're going Dex Faith, you know, maybe try to do more uh I don't know, a lot of the weapons I saw were a lot of strength scaling for the fate. But some of the coolest ones were decks, so yeah. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna kill you first. Thank you so much though, Brandon. And eventually, like in a in a few days, I probably will have a Dex Faith build out for you to watch if you're interested in that. This guy's quite laggy. It's hard to keep up with his movement. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Okay, we're good though. Um, what do we want to use? I think I kill the really teleporty one with spears quick, cause yeah, you don't think I don't see you, my man? Get back there. Get back with your teammate. Go, go. Oh god. Okay. Hey there. What a perfect time for you to roll. I heard that coming. Wow, that's a lot of rolls. What you think about the two crucible knife boss fight? Okay. okay. I'll change this now. I just had to get rid of him. <laughs> uh, it's the dude. If you look at my playthrough, that wasn't one of the ones I got that stuck on, but they are an interesting boss fight. They're very, both very aggressive. So. Oh, that would have been good. Ooh. Okay, that's such a beautiful combo, actually. This is why we like the fire, boys. It's so flashy. You, like, attack through it and buff yourself. I wonder how much AR it buffs. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Guess I'll check in my own world. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it, though. It was, it was one of the more challenging team boss fights, I would say. So, 574... 643 that's a substantial buff that's like 70 and it's an attack so it's a win-win honestly you helped them kill her but you didn't get the which one did you not get pain the one with the the arm that also boosts successive attacks honestly if you go to wiki you can check out like every talisman they explain how to get it in depth more than like me telling you the steps to get it i recently had to go do that for the uh alexander quest i wanted his jar sh shard of alexander and i didn't get it but yeah, Wiki has all the, the quest lines so far that I've seen. It's been helping me when I missed out on some stuff. And Tyler, thank you, man. If you go past plus 17, would you not be able to invade? It would it would be a little high for the level I'm at, I feel. Uh, I would find a lot less activity from what I tested. So for 90, what I'm at is pretty good. I think when I go to like 100, 110, we'll go to like 20 or max out, to be honest. It's hard to say. Uh, I'll be I'm still testing level ranges, so I, I couldn't give you like an exact answer, really. Whoa. Oh, I tried to catch him after. Jump attacks are like the one attack that I don't have down yet to like understand their spacing. It's uh, wait, does he have regen on? I'll put regen with him then. Everyone like uses their uh, whatever you want to call that flask before I get into the fight with them and then they have their regen. Whew. What is this? 
Yeah, okay. Now I got it. <laughs> Jeez. Sometimes the aggression on these spears is crazy. They frostbite really quick, too. Maybe I can use these a little bit more, the, the EPIs. Uh, Kamadukin, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I think it just changes the area supremacy, or you get maybe an option of both. It's interesting. Thank you. What is the Ash of War? Uh, which one? The fire one? Uh, it's, uh, Flaming Strike is the one I was talking about with the fire buff. Uh, Kamadukin, though, thank you so much, man. You want DS3 menu options? What are we missing, Provision, for the DS3 menu options? I feel like it's so it's so similar. <laughs> Unless you mean the sorting options, then then I can probably agree with that. Some of them are different. What's the most annoying spell you can use? Probably Stars of Ruin, Trenton. <laughs> it's uh it's like a constant wave of magic, and even when you dodge constantly, you're gonna chip damage them. Now it might not kill them, but if you're using that constantly, you're gonna chip them down. I play a wizard. Definitely the most annoying. <laughs> You'll see me complain about it definitely throughout the stream at some point. Actually, it's already happened, so. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this way. Ow. Okay, there we go. My headphone was like on my ear. That ever happened to you guys? Just like it's crushing it. No, I have to pick up a lot of the Phantom ones. The Phantom Slash looks so cool. I want that, to be honest. It looks good. Thank you, Tanner. I appreciate that, man. There's a lot. There's a lot of weapons that are actually good on Arcane now. Uh, whew. I am a little lost, dare I say. You know, we haven't tried dual axes at all today. Yeah, I put them on for memes, but uh, that swing looks terrible. <laughs> that looks actually bad. Swamp of Aeonia. It's going good, China. Very good, man. Uh, this might require me jumping up somehow. I think they're up here? Can you even get... Man, what's with the parkour hosts? Shit. Oh, maybe not. No, I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. There's no parkour hosts. It's just... <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, when you see these swamps, you just kind of need quick step. Oh, you can run through them. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Hey, boys. Oh, is it a blue there, too? Oh, wait, no, that's the that's the NPC. Surprise! <laughs> Sneak attack! Hey there. I'm not your ally. Oh, you're brave. Just gonna let that hit you while you poke at me? I guess? I was gonna let him heal, but he just... He didn't stop attacking. <laughs> Damn Chase. Hadn't seen this many donations before. Looks like Elden Ring is treating you well. Aw, oh, David, Wish thank you guys. Yeah, honestly, the viewership's been so crazy. You guys are so kind. I'm glad there's more people actually getting into the Souls games. I have, like... Some friends of mine that never played them as well, even though like they knew I loved it. And I, they just never got around to playing it, but they played Elden Ring, and now they're going back and playing some of the older games, so... I feel like it's just introducing people to like a new genre, in a way. Thank you, David, though. I appreciate that, man. And Ryu, thank you, man. A poison build. I mean, that's kind of part of my arcane one, but I could add more poison weapons. It's always nice to try out extra weapons that I missed out on. Yeah, it really is. You want to use that follow-up all the time. It's very good. Oh boy. I see a moon veil in my future. Hold up. First I gotta dodge the moon. No, dude. Okay, good. Dodge. Oh my oh 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 frame stutter. Hey there, moon veiler. I see you. Oh, there's two of you, two moon veilers. Two for the price of one. Okay, this is this is what deserves spears, always. Oh, he's out of FP, though. No. 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 
No. Okay. None of that. What are your top three favorite Souls games? Kyo. Uh, the Elden Ring and DS3 are really the ones up there at the top, kind of together. Elden Ring right now because it's fresh and I'm loving it, but uh, DS3 had great times for me. Do I do I team this guy? Darkness. I'll have to think of the third one and try to make a. Wee. Ah, you know what? That's a great attack, but it's missing some of the tracking I would like it to have. Let's use something fun and dumb. Maybe this. That's a lot of rolling. <laughs> nice dodges, though. Oh, sorry, Wrath. <laughs> no, Wrath. No, dude. No. No, you keep running into my swing, man. Let's try the Flambridge. I won't hit my teammate with that. Punish! <laughs> the double jump attacks! Just for fun. Um, what else can we do? Let's get him with the flame finish. Rolling works just as well as ever, I see. Nice. Good teamwork, Rat. Good teamwork, man. A nice in unison bow. I would say out of the other ones, man, Bloodborne had a really cool PvE aesthetic. Never really did the PvP in it, though. Uh, and Dark Souls 2 was like, I don't know, it felt like an adventure, the length of the, the playthrough of a Dark Souls 2. It's tough for me to put a, a third. Dark Souls 1 was never my favorite. It's a little bit clunky. And then there's Demon Souls. I don't really know, to be honest with you. <laughs> DS3 and Elden Ring are my favorites, though. I know that for sure. Do you think Covenants? Uh, I would love more Covenants. Uh, they have the blue. I mean, it's not really a Covenant, I suppose. But you have the, the blue ring that lets you get summoned as a blue. I'm a fan of the Covenants, though. I think they should have kept those in. Nice, Leo. This is this is my favorite though, especially in a playthrough experience. Elden Ring has the most to offer. It's awesome. I did play Sekiro, yeah. I liked it a lot. It's just not along the lines of most of the Souls games. You know, there's no like level customization. There's no build making per se. You have like the skill tree route. Um, you didn't like level up your your health, endurance, stamina, dex. I would put Sekiro in its own like category. Very different. Yeah, you know, being a blue, you never get summoned much, but when you invade, you sure see a lot of blue phantoms, so. There's that. <laughs> you don't like Raya Lucaria? I like that area. I like that area a lot. Sek Sekiro is fun, though. Yeah, they're all good in their own way. That's like the best way I can put it. People are going to have different favorites because of that. They're, like, very different. Well, not very different, but the core mechanics are definitely different. Hello there! Flame! Grant the flame! Slash! Yo, I actually love that attack, actually. Whoa! What hit me? Sir Lags a lot 2000 or what? What in the hell? Oh yeah, it definitely was Sir Lags a lot. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. My man's moving in like teleportation. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> that hit so late. What have we not used a lot today? Let's try the axe. Uh, let me get some FP back though. Bam! Stomp. Walk into this. It's a good idea, I promise. Here you go. One more. Okay, he's not walking into it. He's quite patient. He's got a blue on the way. Where is the blue, though? Hmm. Oh, he's over there. The blue is on this side. Hello, blue. What a brave blue indeed. Sure can roll a lot. Start to notice that. Okay. I actually like this. 
Oh, he's summoning another one. All right. Uh, we go to the... You know what? Let's go Claymore with the fire. I like that. Why? You got you guarded through that. Wow. Yeah, shield stability is definitely something that's strong. My jumping attack didn't stun him. Hmm. But that one did. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Here comes the sun bro back. Oh no, you brought him back, man. He... <laughs> He comes from a different dimension. That would have hit me. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm glad I dodged. That hit me. Okay, that guy is like something else, man. It's on a whole other planet. Jeez. Kind of want to stay full health for him, to be honest. He dodged that? That's interesting. It's not even the bleed. It's like, it's him? Get back here. There we go. One more of this guy and his like range of the heavens. <laughs> so fast you can't even see him. Did he just fly by me? <laughs> Hold up. Good counter to dual spears and a spear and shield. Well, there's no, like, real counter to a spear and, like, certain shields. Uh, the best thing you can do, so let's say... Let me give you a good example. This thing has 60 guard boost, okay? There's, there's a couple shields in the game that have, like, 70 to 80. And when you attack them, you're draining, like, none of their stamina. Not to mention there's a talisman that actually boosts that to where you'll lose less stamina. So a lot of people are shield poking with, like, this... And there's no real way to guard break them. The best thing I do is I have a stat proc weapon. So like I have a fr like a frostbite weapon. Even if I'm not a frostbite builder, I have a bleed weapon. Even if I'm not a bleed build, just to be able to block and poke back at them. To be able to stat proc them. Because like, I haven't found a way to guard break someone using one of the best great shields. Like it's, I have to kill them through the shield with the stat procs. You can parry the shield poke. Yeah, so assuming you're good on the connection, you can go for the parries. That is something you can do for sure. It's just they usually won't shield poke you unless you're trading an attack. Like, you can sit there with the shield up, right? And the second someone starts to attack, you yourself with, like, a shield can just start your poke because you'll block and hit them. So, um, people guard break with cannons. If you can't dodge a cannon, then I don't think fighting the person would be a problem, to be honest. It's pretty easy to dodge the cannon in, like, a lone fight. There are some weapons that go through the shields, like scythes, I believe, bypass, and some weapon arts. But again, like a lot of the piercing weapon arts, if you're just alone with a person, it's really easy to dodge, you know? Um, so it's really, it's hard. The people that I fought that were good at using the shield poke, I also pulled out my own shield poke. So that's really the only way I fought it. Oh, an invasion. Oh yeah, if you're a faith build, the cipher is good because it goes right through the shield, right? There are some weapons, but those are like build specific, so. Um, there's definitely ways that help. The kick sucks though. I wish the kick worked, man. It's so bad. <laughs> kick is so bad. I love that I can attack someone right as I spawn in. That's pretty cool. Speaking of shield, but he's got a curved sword. That's not the worst. I wonder how well this will do. Knocks them back. Doesn't guard break, though. Oh, crossbow. Hmm. Like, at this point, I would just go for frostbite procs on this guy. That's all. Yeah, jumping definitely seems to have iframes. I just poked through his body right there, and it didn't, it didn't do much. Oof. Fun fight, boys. You know, not often I see a crossbow as a, someone's starting weapon. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Launched. I love the animation of them flying up. I have to say, that's why I have been enjoying that Ash of War. 
So much, man. So much. Let's try some more volcano. <laughs> it's funny. The coated sword does full damage on the weapon art. That's pretty cool. Wait, the coated sword is those are the sort of fist weapon ones, right? I haven't used them yet, but I know I think I know what you're talking about. The death shuttle. Is it even good? I feel like if it has death build up, it's gonna take so long to actually work, but I mean at every at, at some point I'm gonna use every weapon for a video, so. Right now I'm just kind of like learning the builds and like what works on them. I hope they add arena because like in all those Souls games I always had like a, a video series that I made of each weapon per arena. Like I would do like a, an arena with 10 matches with a weapon. I hope they add that. That's a lot easier to showcase a weapon. Does it chaos? Interesting. Oh what does it scale? I'm not sure. Claymore still in this style. It looks so good. I love this armor set by the way. Unless I find like a better poise looking one I probably am going to stick with this. It's pretty damn good. Um, I actually like this a lot too. I didn't think I'd like curved great swords, but I'm liking them. Kyo. Man, I want some rooftop invasions. Maybe if I go stand near the rooftops. Let's go try that. I think they will also do arena DLC. I agree. Parkour. Try invading from here. <laughs> you like the crucible set? Yeah, it's a better, it's a, one of the better looking with the poise sets. I agree. Should try the lightning ram. I did use it in my own time. I was just testing around with it. Uh, I'm gonna try to make like a lightning build and that'll do better on it than it would on this, I think. <laughs> looks fun though. <laughs> Definitely looks like a good time. Uh, not a ton, Michael. <laughs> I think it's because most people are using weapon arts and a lot of them have long range attacks, so you can't parry it. So I don't run into a lot of people that just spam parry in this compared to DLC3. Prelet set has uh, pretty poisy stuff and uh, slightly lighter than bull goat. Hmm, I'd have to look. Is that the, the red armor set? That the, or is it the iron kind of smo looking set? Oh, what the fuck? Thank you. Well, I spawned in in a very inappropriate position. I'll be on my way. Oh, they're up here. Oh, it is the red one. Okay. Hello, wizards. Hello, wizards. Um, Lance, I like the fire one, but I do want a frostbite them. Maybe it'd be beneficial to have a frostbite spear. Oh, I have these, I guess. These are the only way that I can, like, start frostbite fights. And then from there, I just get to move in. Which one's the fan? Duh, the one that looks like the phantom chase. Which one's the phantom? <laughs> and then we move on to the fire spear, because it, it does good damage once they're- Oh, that was a fancy looking roll. Ooh, yeah, the low absorption from the frostbite. That first hit does good damage. This is a cool looking spot to fight. Is it lava below? Indeed. <laughs> and there's lava here as well. A nice mix of fire and ice. I like it, I like it. Uh, three minutes spiral. <laughs> we could definitely give that a shot too. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, there's actually not a lot here. I wish there was. I think that'll get more populated eventually. This isn't an area you have to go to, correct? It's like a... You choose to fight that boss. Whereas Landell, you go to. Kaled. I Do you have to go to Kaled, actually? Do you have to kill Radon? Not really, huh? I guess to do the Nakron City stuff, but that's quests. That's not essential to the story. Hmm. No, I, okay, that makes sense. You have to kill two demigods. Yeah, that can be like, that's obviously Renala and like Godric right away. So you don't really have to do Caleb. 
Yeah, yeah, the Ronnie quest line, you have to kill Radon to wake her up and get access to the city. That's true. So a lot of people do the, the Kaled area. That's so sad. They, made it, they should have made it so you need all the demigods, to be honest. I feel like a lot of people miss out on some cool areas in the playthrough because of that. How do I test all these builds and have multiple characters? I make multiple characters. I don't really... I don't know how to tell you the secret to that. <laughs> Even in days I don't stream, I'm still playing Elden Ring and collecting all my items and like working on build making. Um, I just do it like more chill, not like PvP. I'm like collecting the PvE stuff. Been playing every day since it came out though. That's a, that helps you. Wizard! Invisible wizardry. Yeah, that's scary. This could be the thing. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna try to deflect the moon because that's a little scary. <laughs> uh, Robert, so I'm u using a combination. Oh, I should have deflected that, though. I will show you it as soon as the invasion's done, though. I will be right there to show you. Uh oh. That boss can hit me. <laughs> and thank you, Seth. I appreciate it, man. Um, Actually, we can get the Frostbite Spear on here, right? Ah, uh, was it... He died. Alright, we don't need the shield anymore. Let's go for the fire. Some fancy footwork here. Katanas. Are they bleeder? Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, oh, I thought it was gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt me. Whoa. -oh. Yeah. <laughs> I figured one of us would get crushed by that eventually. Very chaotic place to fight, actually. This is so cool, man. I wonder what other weapons you can put this on. Like, how big of a weapon can you add that to? Because if that true combos with, like, some of the ultras, you could be doing some great damage. Um, I put it on this, or is this the one that I don't... Oh, yeah, this is the fire charge one. I'll have to try that out on some of the bigger weapons eventually. Like the Colossals, maybe. Do I think the veteran set? It's a very good set. I honestly think I'll see more people rocking the bull goat though, because it, it easier achieves the poise. Although I don't like the way it looks, so I probably will not. <laughs> uh, so you can have uh, the fire infusion, or there's like uh, the fiery something. I forget the name of the fire infusion. And that one scales off faith. This one just does a, a set amount of damage for, I think, strength. It's probably best on strength from what I'm seeing. If you do the fire scale one though, like not, there's two fire infusions. The other one, I forget its name, it's fiery something, blah, blah, blah. But it, that one scales off faith. This one works well with, it seems to work evenly. Like here's a claymore, 577 fire, 501 cold, and cold actually scales off strength. So it gets most of its scaling from strength, I believe. Do I have a fire dex weapon? No, even my curve great sword strength. Seems like fire is more lean towards strength. Flame Art, yeah, Flame Art is the faith scaling one. They do close damage, like even though I have no, I have 12 faith, it, it does a little less than my fire though. You should do it for the drip, yeah, that's why I love my set. This is like the favorite like set I came up with so far. I love how like clean it is, you know? I love the hair too, am I weird? I love this long hair. It's even better than the, uh, the Bloody Wolf set because it's got the longer hair. This way? Yeah, let's go this way. Whee! Um, I'm gonna assume they're not on the rooftops, but I could jump across to be safe. Parkour. Because if I don't... Oh, uh, can I make that? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can make it to that one, though. We've hit an end of our parkouring. Wait, they're near. They are near. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, I thought I was gonna plunge him. You thought you were hiding? How dare you. Dishonest hiders. There's someone behind me. Surprise. Oh, he knew. He knew. Rolling attack? Yeah. Wait, is there another one? Oh, there's a boss. Man, that thing is always here. 
feel like I invade as they're like hiding from a boss or something. Like who actively just sits there, hidden on a chariot? Hmm, let's go with this. That might hurt you. No. Well, I got my primary target. <laughs> oh, the boss! <laughs> the guy with the dragon... The dragon breath is not my favorite. Yes, wasted on him. Yes, 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 yes. Dodge! Hey there. Don't hit me, please. Nice. Whoop! Whoop! My man's got every dragon thing in the book. Damn. That's gonna hurt. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. I don't want to kill those. Specifically want to kill the wizard. Nice. Hold them back, teammate. Hold them back. Ow, no, teammate. We're supposed to work together, not against each other. Nice. <laughs> that worked out. Now we use the Ash of War we never use for the fun of it. Stop it. Stop it, Astoria. I want to hit you with flames. Yes, use that ultra. Do it. What can we do? That's kind of as fun. Um... This has the volcano eruption. Try that. Um, or... For the good fun of parries. Ow. Okay, hold up, hold up, Tio. Ah. Uh, I knew he was gonna do that. I wanna see the timing on the parries for ultras. Ow. Hang on. My man, come back. Baby, come back. Any kind of fool could see you. Too early, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I gotta react it better. We're in the testing fairy phase. <laughs> okay. This boss is evil, though. Yeah, the tree sentinel shield is really nice for uh, sending back the magic. He's two handing. Can you not parry two handed rolling attacks on this? In Dark Souls 3, you can parry all two-handed uh, rolling attacks. Maybe it's different in Elden Ring, now that you say that, actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, though. That made me question that, because one of those seemed pretty good. I'll have to test that with a friend that has like a good connection to me. But yeah, all roll attacks before we're parryable. Don't think you can parry two-handed Uggs rolling and crouching. Oh, wow, really? Hmm. You haven't done it either. Okay, I guess I'll have to actually physically test that with somebody before I go into an invasion with it. All non-two-handed colossals. Okay, so anything but like the colossal swords and colossals? Okay. I'll still try though, because I feel like I've been parried. No, that was a lance. No, maybe you're right. I don't know if I've been parried using my ultra. Anybody in chat been parried using a, a rolling attack of an ultra? Like, a, sorry, a colossal? I don't think I have been now that you say that, but then again, not a lot of people have been parrying because so much weapon art. <laughs> so much Ash of War, sorry. Wizard! <laughs> oh, absolute maidenless behavior. What do I want to use? We'll have the lance. Let's try. You want to try that again? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I take your wizardry not very seriously. <laughs> your moon veil a little. That's about it, though. I can tell it's a moon veil. Whoop. Of course it's a moon veil. Why wouldn't it be a moon veil? I know I can deflect that. We're going to have to establish... 
The moon veiling arts. No more wizardry for me. Frostbitten. I want you to use more sorcery, sir. That's what I want to test. He can very well heal if he would like. Healing is fine. I want to test against the Moon Veil. He doesn't want to heal though. <laughs> he wants some honor bout. Goodbye. Oh well. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to just go for it, but... Uh, yeah, there is that, uh, Veil Talisman. You can crouch. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys can use Moon Veil all you want. We're kind of memeing on it. It'll. I think it'll definitely get a damage reduction, though. Oh, my. Well, yeah, I wanted to parry test it, but I don't want him to like get eighty percent of my health with the with the sword and the the thing if I miss the parry, and then be locked into some honor fight, you know. <laughs> so I wanted him to heal so I could just mess around. Um, let's go with more. I love the fire attack actually. Although I should start with frostbiting somebody, but fire so cool. It had a poise. It, uh, did it have a damage reduction in PvP, though? I'd have to... Man, I don't know. I wish I would have tested it before. They didn't talk about it in the patch notes. I know it had a poise reduction in PvE, though. That is for sure. Hello. How are you guys? Oh, wizard, man. You make me want to use my wizards. Yeah, you know, it's it's coming out. It's coming out. It just it, There's no way it's not, you know? It's just, it's just too fun. Ralph. Ralph, come back. Come back, Ralph. You've chose this life. The wizard life chose you. I wonder if this will work. Oh, well, I need to not dodge it. Ralph, why would you fire from way over? Ralph, you're weird. You're weird, Ralph. Hey, man. I'm a friendly invader. This <laughs> the strat. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll be back. I'll go kill the blue, I guess. Not that he needs help dying. I think he's good on his own. Jeez. <laughs> Wait a second, hold up. I have a meme. Oh my god, amazing! Thank you! <laughs> I wanted to do that at one point today. That's the whole reason I had the Ash of War equipped. I'ma be real. I was waiting for that moment. <laughs> I'm sorry boys, I'm back now though. That was fun. <laughs> Moonvale! Oh, you can try now. Do you think it'll work on that? It blocked it, but it didn't it didn't deflect it. Any more of those? Any more of those? Run, little boys, run. You're out of FP, sir. Here. Let me assist you into an early death. I'll hold your hand, I swear. Wow, that is the weakest moon veil. What why? Making me look like a liar. Those usually hit very hard. That was so weird. That's a little bit better. Still nowhere near optimal. Still nowhere near optimal. That's what you deserve! <laughs> you got what you deserve! <laughs> you got what you deserve, Moon Veiler. <laughs> Pyow! <laughs> You get what you deserve. 
Oh my god. Okay. PSA, always have 12 faith <laughs> for this shield. I don't even care if you have to two-hand it to wield it. Keep it on your build, man. It's it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's very useful. <laughs> oh, this is very good. <laughs> no you. <laughs> Oh, so good. Such a good time. Oh, I'm always having this shield. Oh yeah, it works. Any magic projectile, man. It's so good. <laughs> Specifically for that reason. I don't even care to use it other than that. It's for the mages. Maybe? Game? Probably? I'm not sure. Hello, boys. You're, you're a wielder of a big sword and you're a mage. I, why would I ever want to backstab? Those don't work in this game. Oh. Man, I put the shield away and it keeps calling me back. I think he'll stop eventually. It's like I can't, I can't not have the shield on. What am I supposed to do when there's a wizard every two feet? Oh, nice. Right out of range for that. Like, what do you want me to do, man? Too many wizards. That's really easy to dodge, though. It doesn't even reach me. That guy's just, like, casting. Not a care in his world. Not even trying to get in range. Okay. <laughs> now, you gotta choose specifically the sorceries, good fella. Ah. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Poke. Barricade shield. Dodge. Come on, come on. You got you got a couple more fires in you. I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. Hmm, can you not deflect that one? Is that one technically a night sorcery? Oh no, it deflected. I scared the shit out of Kaya. And I'm telling you they have dodge frames on the jump. 100%. People keep dodging as I attack. Oh shit. <laughs> Didn't think that guy would keep going, but here we are. He's still going. <laughs> Got all the R1s. I think it works on that, but only slightly. Okay, he's frostbitten. We need to reset the frost, the frost now. Poke? Damn, just out of range. Okay, he's probably reset on his own now. <laughs> I think we like kind of lowered his uh, wizardry powers. That doesn't hurt that much, actually. People have a lot of mind. They definitely invest a lot into their mind. Wait, what does this do? Oh, that baited me. I thought it was an attack. The scythe. Watch out, there's a skeleton behind you. No, you're gonna get poked. Eh. Ah. <laughs> Oh, this guy has no health at all. He has less than his phantom. <laughs> okay. Well, the frostbite did them both in, in the end. They got some big minds, man. They got some big brains. <laughs> That's a lot of wizardry going on right there. Uh, you can parry an attack with the shield as well. Uh, what attack do you mean? Let, ooh. This way. I'm not sure on the hours, Bloodfish. I'd have to look on my Steam. Um, probably in the 200s of hours at this point. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm close. Oh, hey. Hello. What up, guys? How are we? That's a dagger. I haven't seen a dagger, really. Oh, that drains HP when it hits you. I remember that, at least. It's pretty easy to dodge, though. Really cool looking. Um, I'm going to just fight Silvex. You're welcome to join. Some quick step. A dagger quick step. Okay. That was creepy. Hmm. Is that Frostbite? Yeah. Let's trade into his frostbite. Frostbite? I mean, uh, quick step on a straight sword. That's pretty good. Now we're both frostbitten. Okay, I'm down for a heal fight. <laughs> Big swords hit pretty hard. And also, if you proc the frostbite in that, you do so much damage. Because it's already such a hard-hitting attack. So good, actually. So good. <laughs> it's so strong, actually. You have to time it, though. The timing on that's a bit weird with the pokes of the ultras. You gotta wait like a half a second in between, and then you cast it, and you're... Or not cast it, but use it, and then you're pretty good to go. Oh uh, yeah, the, the the carry and retaliation. That's what people are talking about. Right now it just kind of does too much damage. In the most recent patch, it made it do like dumb amounts of damage. So uh, that'll, that'll get fixed soon, I'm assuming. Yo, Jordan, thank you so much. Me too, man. I think I might do lightning next. Um, uh, we've done what? Fire, ice, bleed, strength in, strength faith, arcane, I mean, Arcane kind of encompasses most of the other stat procs like Poison and Bleed, so... Yeah, a Lightning build would be cool. There we go. I have a face reveal video, Justin. Also, in my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, I use the webcam. I just tend not to do it for PvP, that's all. Because I cut up all my streams into, like, highlight PvP videos. So it's more about, like, the game than me. But yeah, I have, I have face cam videos. Thank you. Looking forward to Oof. the lightning build. But thank you, Justin. Will you use and I have an Instagram, too, if you guys wanted to put a face to my voice. I just find it easier to PvP Will and, like, record the gameplay. The oh, thank you. Also, uh, Shadowplay, I find, is a better recording software if you guys are in, like, enjoying recording your gameplay. I don't like using OBS. And OBS, yeah, I wouldn't be able to separate the webcam from the face. You know what I mean? So, for the footage of the build. But yeah, I have, uh, I have an Instagram, just like just like my name is here, if you wanted to put a face to the voice. Ninja Park War win when the snow melts. <laughs> it's uh, slowly melting right now. Also, Osmosis, thank you so much for the membership, man. And yeah, I will start working on the lightning build tonight. Oh, that's two failed connections in a row, dishonest. You, you, you swap device versa proficient. I find for me the bit rate and like the quality looks better on Shadowplay, but... Everyone that's OBS might be different than mine, or my settings might not have been optimal. There we go. Cho. Yeah, the pizza cutter is more like a quality build weapon, and I haven't done a quality build at all yet. So, yeah, it's just Chase the Bro, uh, Jesse. Haven't posted in the past year, because like, I haven't done anything, but yeah. There's things from like my last vacation on there. When I went and like visited Colorado, saw like Utah and stuff. I'm also gonna use it for like any interesting things I do in real life. Hey, and our lockdowns where we live are done, so some vacation sometime soon. Yeah, quality builds seem like they're lacking, man. I was looking at the weapons. <laughs> and the infusement seems to not be the best either. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, jumping definitely has less than rolling, for sure. Wow, wizards! Wizards everywhere! Come here, wizard. <laughs> Stop it, wizard. In the name of the law. You're both wizards! Oh, Double wizards. Fire some more wizard juice at me, I dare you. Fire. I'll sit here until you fire. Do it. 
Appease me. It's not even a moon veil. Uh, okay, I'll put that away. They're not they're not really wizarding, honestly. They're just kind of getting wizarded. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Damn, that boss wrecking all of us. Damn. All right. Quality scaling infusion really needs a big damage buff, does it? Yeah, from what I looked at on the weapons that I've had, even on the ones that I had like, what, maybe like 34 strength, 20 something decks at some points, uh, quality did less than heavy, so I don't know. It was fun? Was it proficient? I don't know, just the weapons that I looked at for the infusement, it didn't really look better. Yeah, it is. Been, uh, I didn't drive it a lot throughout the winter, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's still a pretty mint condition to be honest. Uh, Hunter, it's been good. I didn't really do much throughout the winter, though. Okay, let's... Wait, am I invading right now? Or are we... Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think the weapons themselves that scale in both strength and dex probably are the way to go for quality, not just using the infusement. But yeah, you need to... Like, you need a lot of stat points for it. I don't know if we'll do that anytime soon. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, Jesse. So kind. I hate winter. Yeah, that's the one downside where I live. <laughs> Snow about like five months a year. Summers are nice, but... Why, hello! Whoa! Oh, that's the NPC. Oh man, last stream I got, I got scared so hard when this guy was taking that damage when he got hit. I thought it was like some max level phantom just destroying. I'll just fight you. Oh damn, that does so much damage actually, like I know the range on the Ash of War is limited, and it's a bit slow, but like 900 for that. Blade 70. That's pretty good. It's like a one-off. And it's a buff. Hmm. Might use that a lot. I was just testing it out today, but. That works. Why is it when I stand here? I invade here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they like just no one here, I guess. I don't know. It's a really odd invasion spot. We'll move. We keep invading the horse. That's not my favorite, to be honest. Ah, uh, well, no, I just leveled up today, Horus. My I beat the game with my other lower level character, and I've been leveling him uh, solely per stream. So now he's ninety. Just trying out all the different levels. Yeah, it's really good, man. I like the flame strike. Probably can do better on a bigger weapon as well. I'll look at which ones we can put it on for like next stream that I do a physical build. Oh, maybe. Maybe Eternal. That's, that's a possibility. Uh, no, I haven't really tried the Crit Talisman. I know it would do good damage, but the amount you land backstabs is a pretty low. So, <laughs> I've been not using it. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> hey, Ben. <laughs> His name. <laughs> That's not a moon veil, right? <laughs> it's definitely not a moon veil. <laughs> These people in the name sometimes, man. He tanky, tanky. Ah, uh, let's get some range in there to match his bleed. Because even when you get a phantom hit, I still get bled a little bit. Wow, he's super tanky now that I think about it. Jeez. Was that a frostbite proc also? I think it was. I mean, that plant's not even bothering you. A little bit, Steven. Sometimes, yes, I agree. <laughs> so his buff wore off. That's a little bit better. Decent trade. Yeah. Oh, that hit me during my roll, unfortunately. Okay, this might be a longer one unless we can get him in a roll catch chain. Mmm, because he's got a lot of heals. We did get rid of the frostbite at the very least, so. 
That's good. I didn't go for it. I had to pull out the roll catch arts right there. <laughs> Give him a lot of mix ups that he wasn't ready for. I think I had to hit him like seven times though, damn. Yo, Steven, thank you so much, man. I tried to kill the phantoms first, though, yeah. Makes for better fights. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. You just gotta mix up the timing. It'll really throw people off. Oh, I guess we can go underground now. Let's go underground. Let's go see what Siofra well first has to do. The roll catch arts. Yeah, you need to do that when people have, like, a billion HP in uh, Esta Smith. There we go. Uh, not today, Nathan. Not today. Um, what's this? Got the partisan. How is its damage? 478. Okay, wow. Yeah, the guardian spear is a lot better, but I guess it's because this is technically a spear. So it's got a good running heavy. Oh, it's an interesting running light attack, actually. We could try this. Uh, it's from this ring. Gives me defense boost when I first get, uh, when I have my HP full. So... I just start with that. Partisan is bad, but it's actually good. <laughs> Sometimes I feel that way with weapons. Guess we'll see. Try it out. Um. Oh no, not one of these spawns. Oh wait, no, they're this way. Okay. Fire is honestly good, even like, uh, I'm at level 90. This is like close to when I would be approaching the end. I, I ended at 130. But it's working well. I guess we'll see how the the flame art one works on a faith build later. The Black Knight Great Axe back. I am all for that, man. That has such a sick swing pattern. Oh no. Not a shield boy. Pretty sure we killed these guys before, actually. I want to frostbite them, though, if we can. Oh god, that's a lot of frame issues right there. Hello. Hello. Oh. Rude. Hey, so you want to have a shield battle? I'm down. <laughs> I see you didn't want any of the shielding, huh? I could have did it with you. We could have been a great team, you and I. The shield brothers. I don't really want to do that, but man, fighting a shield fight without a shield is so annoying. Although he's not really shield poking, to be honest with you. He's just kind of r one at me constantly. By the way, he didn't get frostbitten yet, did he? Maybe he did. Hang on. Let's pull out a claymore. Wait. Oh, why did he return home? Lame. What a deke master. Damn, you see that? Yeah, let me reset you with the flame. The flame of justice. <laughs> oh, he's fat rolling. Oh no, dude. That's so sad. Tyrus, I'll let you survive. Your friend left. I, wish, I wonder if you can, like, gift things. If they'd actually take it. <laughs> oh well. Fun fight, Tyrus. Hey, there's that shield glitch. <laughs> I just happened to win even though I didn't. <laughs> there you go, guys. You're asking about that. There it is. <laughs> Yo, Axe of Infinity. Thank you so much, man. Girl catching with the ultra. It is super satisfying. I was like, what the fuck killed me? <laughs> oh, that was funny as hell, actually. 
That is the best time to have that happen when it doesn't matter. <laughs> when you've already won. <laughs> then I don't mind it. Magic, I say. Yeah, that'll definitely get a get a patch for sure. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, pretty stupid. I was killed by that today too. Yeah. So uh, when you use the carry in retaliation, which is the the shield parry, puts the swords above your head, and uh, they just do stupid damage right now. They need to be dialed down. Their damage is very high. Well, not very high. Insanely high. <laughs> Like too high. Fave weapon right now, man. I don't know. I like, like on this build. I've been using the claymore a lot. The, the great sword, the lance, and the guardian sword spear. So I guess that and the spear, the the twin spears to hunt down the people that run away from me. They're so good for that. Costs a lot of stamina though. I've noticed that. Let's try the halberds a little bit more. Oh, oh, okay. I guess some areas in the game still have those frame losses. That was like, uh, that's the first time I've had that in a long time. You know, it's still like that, Chung. They didn't, they didn't fix anything to do with weapons. I think the next patch will probably have that. They probably weren't aware of it while fixing the newest one. And then it just got like shown a day or two ago. So I assume that'll be in the next one. Yeah, if you're ready for it, you can dodge it, for sure. But uh, they're still kind of invisible, so... Yeah. It's iffy. No, the death poker is uh, a strength... Is it a dex int or a strength int weapon? Woo! I'm assuming strength, because it's like a great sword, but... I do want to try it. it. Apparently, it's not immortal proficient. Hello, boys! Something about this. I don't trust... I don't trust this. Dragon breath. You thought you'd catch me? No, sir. I'm ready for that shit. He just, he just clap at me. You clapping? <laughs> what you clapping about? Now I have an escape. Better run. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I just had the chance of a lifetime. I was stuck in that corner so hard. Oh, you can't crit on stairs? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's pretty good. Alright, now your teammate's down there. Now it's me and you, Scythe boy. Although I'm about to bleed, so you can get a bleed off on me if you wanted. Doesn't seem to work for him though. Why is he not getting bleeds? Whoa! Whoa, I thought he jumped up here, but it was the crab. Hey there. Hey there. Come back here. Teach you to dragon flame me. <laughs> you better run. You better run. Show <laughs> the dragon breath out of here. <laughs> Where's your teammate at? They were waiting for that ambush. <laughs> they were waiting. Is he up top still? Hold up. This is the, the cat and mouse of invasions that I kind of love, to be honest. It's so fun. <laughs> okay, that one was not an honest disconnect. I can tell he left. <laughs> Let's go to the other half of it. What other place would be interesting to invade? The Einzel River one? Um, that leads to the old palace. I didn't get invasions there last time I tried, but we could try. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, this isn't the one I thought it was. This one will have, like, no one in it. Maybe here. Noxtella. Yeah, let's try the Eternal City. Oh, yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, definitely. The Katanas look cool as hell. Especially the, the Rivers of Blood. <laughs> it's so cool looking. It's going good, man. I'm actually liking this build a lot. The Frostbite mixed with the Fire. So fun. To be honest. Thought it was going to be more of like a meme, but like it's working well. Uh, okay. This is a pretty area to invade. Why have I not been invading here? Um, chances are they're up top, probably. Nice, Joaquin. Um, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to go like strength faith with like buff miracles, you could do that and have like the minimum faith for the buffs, or if you want to go like pure faith and have like your weapon sacred infused, you could also go that route. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that goes down. Wait, wait. Wait, would they? Hang on. There's nowhere but. Oh, there. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I thought that went up. Thank you. Thank you so much, though, man. Yeah, it's easier. It was probably easier to start strength, at least, to get the, the good damage at the beginning of the game. If you're going through the game at, at first. Or if you're just reallocating. Oh, wait. This is, this is a weird area. Wasn't this just where I was? I am on PC, yeah. Damn, what is doing all of his health? Oh, they're near the curse frogs. Ew. Oh, they're fighting. Yo, I got your back, homie. They're ganking you in a dishonest 2v1. Hey. Hell yeah. You get my back, I got yours. Invaders will take care of us. Parry that. <laughs> I love that for people that parry so often. So nice. Okay, so I can't dodge with life friends, but oh my god, why does this guy have no AP? Where are your stats, good sir? You're all the way down here. Man, you guys are having a time, it seems. Oh, can you just roll around that? Is that possible? Okay, that's weird, but all right. You will not cheese him with Scarlet Rot. <laughs> that's unfair. <laughs> I'm helping Blythe. You dare try to kill poor Blythe. Got your back, homie. Yeah, let's go. We walk off together. Little bro and big bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously little bro in that scenario. <laughs> He's so tall. That's not Blythe though. You're right. It's like that spirit. You're right. But it is Blythe though at the same time. <laughs> it's wearing him. The Bizarro Blythe. Starbucks. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Some ice peach green tea lemonade hits. Uh, parkour? Can you do that? Maybe. Oh man, I thought that was a ledge. That scared me. Oh my god, the attacking balls. Yes, I get to see them live. See how everyone else handled them. Here comes the ball. What you gonna do? <laughs> what do you got? Please don't have a dragon breath. That's all I ask. Hello there, Sunbro. Hello. A ball is on the way. Will it hit me? I need to get away from it. Yikes. It will indeed hit. You guys gotta watch out for the ball. Oh, it's that. It's the wings of Astel. That's cool. Is that what that does? Okay, we'll take... We'll, sw we'll switch it up here. I go for the Maiden. Who's obviously the wizard. I mean, they're all kind of wizards. If you think about it, right? They're pretty wizardly. Oh, what do we want to do here? Let's get a flame attack going. Pff, 
Oh, that guy's fancy looking. Dodge. Oh, there's pews. I could be dodging the pews with other pews. That's quite a lot of pews. Hey, boys. Let me lead you into somewhere fun. <laughs> Do you think they know what's in here? <laughs> Do you think they know what's in here? That's something I uh, want to do. Oh wow, you guys cheesed the ball. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta avoid their, their magic. It's quite damaging. Wait, is, does that lead somewhere? That's a dead end, right? Hey boys, I'm here. That phantom is quite the, the hefty one. I can tell he's the tank of the group. What? What happened to my other spear? <laughs> ah! I'm dead. I'm not dead. I am dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, the fucking great escape. Holy shit, parkour. Oh my god, parkour. <laughs> that was the sickest escape. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I saw my opening! <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> They're probably like, what in the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was so good! Oh my god! Wow! Okay. <laughs> hey, boys. How's it going? How's it going, boys? Oh, I could have deflected that one. Oh my! <laughs> oh, there's a ball behind me. Man, they have so much going for them here. How much FP can you have? It's crazy. They're just like chunking. Like they have not stopped casting at me. <laughs> I'm like hanging on here, but barely. <laughs> like damn dude That's kind of hard to punish because I just can't get near him. He just does it It's kind of just like holding me off. I guess that's like the best way to say what that is doing That phantom's definitely of the high level like 100% because He's just been going off with the FP spam. I have one more FP juice. <laughs> All right, we got to lead them in here a little bit. How much more FP could this guy with the the curve guards really have? Actually, how much could they all have? They've been just like clearing shit with Kamehameha's. They've been going. They have an obscene amount of FP. <laughs> okay, this might be my only chance here. We've been doing good damage too. They've had to heal. Pretty impressive that they're still going. Dude, 
I wonder how many FP flasks they all have attuned. Like, I've been chunking their HP, too. So, yeah. Definitely been interesting. Oh, God, I got to get to the elevator before they do. Bye, boys. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I'll meet you down here. <laughs> this is going to be the longest invasion ever. <laughs> Oh, well, there is downscaling, but it's definitely not as strong as it was in, like, DS3. Let's get, we can get some health here. I can just think of a strat here. I got two Estus. No more FP flasks. Damn. Kia. Oh, did you want me to just stand amongst the three of them, Ten, and just take all their swords to the face? That sounds like a good plan. Especially when they have, like, a billion spells constantly going. Definitely how you win invasions right there. Listen to Ten in chat. He's got all the tips. Best PvPer. <laughs> they want us to do wait in the corner while three guys that are like level 150 well that one phantom just like pressure you <laughs> do you see this guy <laughs> have you seen the fp spam is there another elevator yeah i'm gonna have to wait <laughs> maybe a shield I guess. This is how you fight a 3v1 when they're like super tanky and have infinite FP. I have not seen them stop casting. Well, hey, Sesenji, you know, kill them. <laughs> Chase them, kill them. It's part of the game. You guys get so angry over a part of the video game. Also, if you hate invasions, I have a question. Why do you watch invasion streams? I've always wondered when I get people that come in so salty about invaders, why do you watch someone invade? I, I'd like to pick your brain from a serious standpoint here. Why? I don't get it. I'll never understand. Oh yeah, sure. Like, I didn't see you guys hiding. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they hate watch. So you just watch angry when the invader's winning. That's so weird, man. You'd have so much of a better time just PvPing or not watching in general then. They can't get their FP back anymore. They ran out of enemies to kill my guy. Oh, that guy's definitely gonna die soon. Holy though, he's still going, man. Look at this FP. Did you, do you know how many times uh, how much FP that costs to swing? By the way, it's pretty impressive. That one doesn't cost FP, uh, but uh, they're still going. Uh, at least he's out now. I'm pretty sure he's out. Oh my god, they have enough for a dragon still? Wow! Man, they have so much FP. They haven't stopped casting that since I started the fucking, like, invasion. It's pretty impressive. I'd love to see their, like, mind level. It's gotta be, like, a hundred. I mean, those two are death over leveled phantoms, yeah. But, like, still, I mean, does it really not scale your FP? My guy was too slow to react dodge when I pretended to attack his phantom. <laughs> I guess. Well, now I have FP, so this is good. Ha! <laughs> okay. We'll take it. But that was an impressive amount of FP. And then in the end, they quit out because they ran out of their magic. <laughs> Cute, though. Cute. Now they're all out of FP. They're like, well, I'm going to plug my... I'm going to pull the plug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. We're going to put that in the highlight video. That's funny. The no FP disconnect. <laughs> That's funny. They hate me, but it's fun. Oh, um, this is a really cool place to invade, though, by the way. I love this area. It's so pretty.
No FP, no connection. <laughs> that is a good one. Uh, I'm level 200. I can say HP and FP aren't nerfed when you're when you're summoned. That's crazy, man. They need to work on the downscaling. That's insane. A lot of balancing things will come to this, though. Yeah, the Eternal City is so pretty. Oh, they're there. Hello. Where's your host at? Hello. Uh, I can just jump down, right? Wow. Rude. <laughs> Yo, Luna, thank you so much. You. Oh, wait, he's kind of... Wait, am I fat rolling right now? No. So, wait, where does that I enjoy this Toho stream. Smash! Okay. Dodge! Hmm. A lot of wizards in these cities. Wait, what? Wait, how did he... Oh, he went up top. Oh! <gasps> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, wizard. I had a plan for you, wizard. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he didn't aim it right. That's sad. Okay. I had a plan for him. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Damn, okay. I don't know what hit me, but something did. And it did all my HP. Ow. Itch my ear here. One of you has godly damage. I think it's you. I mean, that's not godly, but that hurt. Jeez. <laughs> the amount of ash spam is crazy. Call of Duty Sniper Souls 3. I don't know what he hit me with, but it, it was pretty damaging. If I can get one alone for like a second, they're gonna die. Can I roll down there? I'm hoping so. Oh, he died of that falling attack. I'm alive. Holy damage, man. Like, do you ever stop casting? How is this real? <laughs> At no point can I attack right now because they're just constantly casting. This is the second. This is the same team. Hold up, like. <laughs> yeah, my physics saved me. All right, you keep casting. I'll keep running. That sounds like a good plan. Wizard fever. Yeah, you know what? At this point, I might carry and retaliate. Like, what are you... It's ridiculous. I haven't even swung my sword because none of them have swung their sword. Just like 80 mind. I'm like debating it, man. I'm fighting the urge to kill that wizard. <laughs> fighting it. Well, it's not just wizardry. Um, they're also using their Ashes of War, which you can't retaliate with the shield, so. Okay, at least it looks like they've kind of calmed down a little bit now. My R1 didn't come out there, sadly, or else I would have poked him. Oh. Jesus, man, that damage is freaking nuts. Going this way. Uh, do you think these guys are almost out of FP? They've also just been constantly casting, but uh, you know. Answer is no. They're not out of FP. They're still going strong with the FP. <laughs> there you go. One back for you. Eventually, you think they would eventually, man, but they really don't. I run out of my FP from doing my quick step, which is like so minimal compared to what they do. Oh yeah, come close here. Come, come use your swords on me, sir. I promise it'll be a different experience.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spam your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You done? Man, even the hosts, dude, they have, like, endless, like, how? There's gotta be something suspicious going on with the amount of FP people have right now. It is unholy. <laughs> I guess there's always the oh my god, dude. He has more. They must be using those light shards, 100%. Because there's no way. Absolutely no way. What the hell? This guy just die in res? How did I hear him die? This is very suspicious. This whole invasion. That guy should be dead. Something I heard is someone die. I don't know. I don't know, man. Something suspicious about this. Oh, is the ball maybe? Maybe they keep killing enemies so they get HP back? Possibly? Like the only thing I can think of, but at this point, if they're gonna use their shard, I'm gonna use my shard. <laughs> you want FP? I get FP, it's fair. Cause like, man, they, they literally don't stop. They must have like a billion mind. That's like the only thing I can say. The voice actor went ham. He did, dude. God, I need a way to like isolate the phantom for like a second. There we go. How long you last when you're alone with me for a second? Now where is this host at? I guess, yeah, I still have no idea how they had that much FP, even if they use the shards, man, like that's... They were like spamming, dude. They did not stop. Last four seconds alone, yeah, that's about right. He's resummoning. Coward. <laughs> hey man. I just survived the 10 minutes of your onslaught of magic. Let's have a fight now, shall we? Yep. That's about what I expected. Yeah, you guys want level 150 to be the meta? Yeah, yeah, sure. You have fun with that, where you don't even fight for the first 10 minutes. You just run away from their casts. Amazing. Actually amazing. <laughs> we're going to leave Wizard Academy, and we're going to go back to the sword play. My god, dude. You don't need a higher level... Like, they're literally just sitting there spamming Ashes of War and magic. They did not swing their sword at me until they were alone with me, and then they died in four seconds. <laughs> like. <laughs> Jesus. That was a good example, man.
the two invasions in a row too <laughs> like i can't believe it like you're not you're not even sword fighting at that point like what <laughs> the more of those you see that's just depressing like they're not even fighting they're just literally sitting there hitting l2 and they just have so much juice for it that's crazy Yeah, 120 is high enough, man. That's a good example right there. I'm 90. I have 30 extra levels. I'm fine. I wanted 150 before I played the game. Not now. Yeah, fair. <laughs> totally fair. <laughs> that made me realize that 150... I already knew 150 wouldn't be the best, but, like, that was a good example. <laughs> oh, that's three uh, not connections in a row. That's weird. Thank you. Yeah, they need to make things cost more FP. That's like my stance on it. I never level my FP bar, bro. And I, I just, am I ever out of FP? I think in like that 15 minute invasion, I ran out right there. But I barely do anything. I use like a just quick step. <laughs> so like, I don't know. They need to make some things cost more FP for sure. My 150 mage is very balanced, I bet. <laughs> How many stars of ruin can you cast Profician? Oh, did I, dude? Yo, Ryan, thank you so much, man. Sorry, I was ranting right there. That was that was horrifying. I really appreciate that, man. Been, bro, been loving your PvP vids. You've been my PvP guiding Moonlight. I really appreciate that, because I'm loving the game. <laughs> Hello, sir. Nothing will amount to what I just fought. You can throw all the rocks you want at me. I, I am, like, immune. I'm immune to caring about rock casts. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Bobble gobs. <laughs> Alright, let's do... Maybe the flame thing? I don't know. The lance is good against that type of weapon. Because it has like the, the thrust with me. Thrust. Oh! Oh! Okay. Well, I guess this is not as scary as magic, but it's... It's scary in its own right. Gotta like double dodge him. That shit hit. Attack early? I don't know how to hit his connection. Wait, I heard some sounds. Ah, Blue! Hello, Blue. How are you, Blueby? Blueby dooby doo. I dodge you. Ah, and so it begins. Parkour and its natural habitat. I will bring out the shield for you, wizard. <laughs> Punish the blue. No, I didn't get to punish the blue. Okay. Seems like he's dodging rather late, too. We probably don't have the best connection, either. I mean, it kind of connects from the host world, I guess. Dodge. Dodge. Duck, dip, dive, and dodge. I'm never doing honor fights anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go to do it, I just get healed on. Fuck it. We all are healed now, boys. Uh, dishonor. Dishonor be thy name. Come here, wizard. Boom! Goodbye, sir. I'll be seeing you later. Flame! Good job, Team Wizard. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Filthy wizards all over shop. <laughs> Pablo, thank you, man. Also, support a friend. Hey, can you give love to my dog, Samson? Yo, Samson's a good boy. What kind of dog is he? Support a friend. <laughs> yeah, there's people out there that don't want you to be able to change weapons during combat. You know what? You know what that would do, though? 
I know they don't think this through, but you know what every PvP player would be running if they couldn't change weapons? The absolute best weapons in the game. That's all you would see. You would see no PvP variety. The reason I can do variety is because, oh, I'm fighting someone who's using a not optimal setup. Oh, I'll match that. <laughs> if I only got to choose one loadout, you'd see me using Moon Veil, Rivers of Blood, a shield and a rapier. That would be a dumb idea. I see a lot of people say that, but it's like, yo, practice to get better and switch your weapons if you need to on the fly. Also, how would you pick up your weapon in the playthrough? <laughs> I just found this really cool katana in this cave. Oh, I gotta go back to the blacksmith to equip it. That sounds terrible. Sounds like a boring idea. <laughs> Another wizard. I'm stuck on a roof. This is, this is uh, detrimental to my health. Hold up. Oh no. <laughs> and so the wizard games begin. I wonder if I can send. That's an Ash of War. I don't think I can. That guy's like back there sniping. What the? Oh, boss. Hey. I want to watch out. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> Basically, that's my equip of get good. It's the kind way of saying it. Hey there, Snipe. You like that? We dodge amongst the boss. That's gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me. Run, little son, bro, run. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Goodbye, little son, bro. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> I was born, so I mastered all the weapons before I was a boy. <laughs> Except straight swords, we don't play those. <laughs> uh, let's go with the curb great sword. Hey, did you forget about me? <laughs> Good teamwork. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. You know what I have to say to that mantis? Cry more, good sir. Cry more. <laughs> hey, thank you though. They quit out anyway when they're gonna die. I don't know why you root for the host team ever. <laughs> They just get so mad about it. It's just a game. Enjoy it. Invasions are part of it. I have to fight three people at a time. Adapt. Yo, thank you, Sam. Oh, a supportive friend. Thank you, man. An English Mastiff. Nice. I've only had a few dogs in my life. A Rottweiler. Golden Retriever. A decent amount of cats. <laughs> but yeah. They can handle the invasions. I know, it's not that hard, man. Like, you have, you have three friends, you know, have one fight me. Have one fight me if I'm so no skill, right? Like, have one of your two teammates <laughs> fight the invader, and then the, you two can do the boss, right? If the invader is so bad, why, why can't one of you just hold him off? You know? But it's never, the, the invaders are never bad. They're very good at the game. People just don't want to say, hey, this guy's good at this game. <laughs> it's fine. It's like, it's just a game though, man. You guys don't have to get so angry about it. I know, the invader with the half of the Estes. Exactly. And it's like, wh what more could they possibly want? Like, I don't know how you can complain about invasions in Elden Ring. Dark Souls 3, like, we were very good at it. But still, there's still a huge advantage to the home team. We get half your heals. We can't use rune arcs. The enemies, like the mini bosses, you just said I'm a, I'm bad for using, can hit me. <laughs> they can hit me. <laughs> Most of the enemies in the game can hit me, except for the little, like, sh like small mobs. All the big enemies can hit me. Like an invader has, like, yeah, five Estus. Compared to what? A host having 15, and then the, the, the two phantoms having 10 together? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. 
uh, they couldn't hand it to anybody and make it any easier than it is already so people still cry about invasions they're going to always yeah but it makes you lose health timbo <laughs> i don't want to use it uh rasmus thank you man i appreciate the membership I don't think there's any seeds that do that, but I mean, you can be hit by most of the powerful enemies in the game as an invader. Like the big animals, the the bosses, like the field bosses, they can all hit us. So, I have to say, it's pretty damn balanced. More damn, like, more balanced than any of the other ones. In, in favor of the host, by the way. I'm not really going to touch on the subject anymore, I just find it funny. <laughs> When I see people say that, it's really funny. I love now that back in DS3 you didn't, yeah, most people didn't like ask about it all the time, but hey, I'm, I'm fine teaching people. It doesn't really bother me. I'm here. Hello, Uchi. How are you? Hello. How are you? And mostly if they fought me 1v1, you know, I'd fight them 1v1. But if they like gank, I use the area. It's like a it's like a fair balance thing, you know? They've chosen gank, and that is fine. In fact, I prefer it. <laughs> it's kind of more fun this way. Din -din 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 -din. So we use the area to escape the moon veil. I don't want the dragon though. The dragon is actually terrible. The dragon will be a bad time for all of us. <laughs> Hello, son, bro. Come back here. Moonveil. Oh, oh, hang on. Counter Moonveil strategy we set up. Hello there, Elias. Hey there, big boy. I know you want to shoot a magic beam at me. I know you do. I can sense it. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. Bam! <laughs> it's like he knows. He's not moon veiling anymore. He knows. <laughs> he stopped moon veiling. <laughs> Fun fight though. He knows. He knows. <laughs> he literally didn't fire one more moon veil shot. PSA, keep that shield on you. <laughs> it's actually been my saving grace, man. It's been so good. What about more in here? Well, uh, the hail, so you, you can use the parry on the shield. I'll show you. And it, uh, if someone fires a projectile magic at you, it sends like a, a holy energy beam back at them. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they must have had it done to them, though. Oh, I don't really want this setup, but I've been using it if there's a wizard. Oh, and that's a moon veil. All right, it goes back on. The shield stays on in the invasions. Hello there. You look like you moon veil. You look like it. Hey, Wancho, use it. There's two moon veils in your hand. Use one of them to shoot a magic beam my way. I guess he didn't want to. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> uh, he didn't want the, the shield. The shield carry. Did they buff the shield? It doesn't seem like they did. Uh, I just never used it until today. Well, your last stream. I realized the magic of the, the magic deflect last stream. <laughs> Elden shield hero. Yo, speaking of, new shield hero season soon. Excited for that. Hello there. Um, what do you want to use? I've honestly been liking the claymore with the fire. Oh, is that a bleed arrow? Oh, my mans. Oh, that comes out quick. Oh! 
Oh, we got a wizard. So, you know, in hindsight... Man, I want to use something other than a shield, but, like, what am I going to do when all they do is shoot magic at me, you know? We'll kill them first, though, because... He seems... Oh. Hey, or Orvik. Yeah, just fire another one. I promise it's a good idea. I don't even care if you poison me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> hey, Auric. Hey, just fire one more. Hey, keep firing those. I promise it's a good idea. He does, he actually does keep firing them. That's the best part. <laughs> oh, you realized that one I can't. Oh, that's not even an attack. <laughs> oh, that's the frame killer 2000. That's right. Oh, that blended together well. Can I uh, retaliate the... Uh... Not that, most likely, but what about those things above his head? This guy's just a hindrance. I can't do anything about him because he's going to roll away from me the entire time I do it. Oh shit. Can you reflect those? No, I think those are night magic. I'm pretty sure they don't count. Oh! Oh, you saved me! Aha, you fool! You fool! <laughs> that was a good parry, though. I don't know how he lived that, but alright. Goodbye. That was a really annoying team, I can't even deny, dude. One of the most annoying things I've seen today. <laughs> Jesus. Why does no one want to fight with a sword in Elden Ring, by the way? What is with the ranged teams? <laughs> why? Just why, man? Why? Why? Why, why, why? <laughs> Just why? Dude, that guy spent all his arrows. My god. <laughs> Wizards and arrows. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is right playing range is fun? I don't know, man. I feel like you just locked on hitting L1. There's no like timing really. 
Bow guy was cool. I can appreciate him. Just in mix with wizard, that was tough. Imagine, imagine three dudes just doing that though. Like the potential for like the annoying teams is high. The dude likes his arrows. <laughs> I'd rather fight the rivers of blood. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Man. We just want to, you know, a nice sword fight. Anybody got swords in Elden Ring? We've just all devolved. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I hate you all. I'm going to turn a corner, find a wizard. Shoddy. Hello, Shoddy. You got a hidden phantom? I feel like you do. I feel like you do. What's going on here? We both have the, the bloodhound step I see. The chattest battle you'll ever fight. I dodged the blood. That's the one thing you can be really good at with the the bleed builds. You can dodge the blood loss if you like prioritize getting hit during the attack. See my blood meter's kinda high, but he's doing some shit. Now his his power! It's waned! Whoa. Oh the the Chad, the Chad attack! Oh you didn't expect that, I don't think. It's not as powerful without the, the bleed buildup. Oh, oh, he dodged it, I guess. Oh, I thought that was an Estus. I'm crouching at you. Poke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a cat build right there. That's true. I know, cosmetic, it sucks. I think, th I mean, they're still working on the Elden Ring servers, so I, I assume the Dark Souls 3 PC one will go up eventually. Um, you know, for people on console, they're still pretty lucky. They're still going strong. But, yeah. Yeah, the bleed definitely would be the best way for that one, I guess, now. The claws can bleed pretty quick. That spell's pretty cool. Kia. Kia, Kia. Is hyper armor? Some weapons have certain amounts of hyper armor, but uh, your active poise is really what's carrying you through like not getting stunned in this. There's certain like poise breakpoints that allow you to tank one hit of a weapon. Oh god, an octopus. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the double Chad Ultras! Jeez, he's tanky. I love that attack so much. It's so cool, dude. Chikari! Oh, it's Quick Step with it. And it's a Moon Veil, okay. <laughs> the most balanced of Katanas! <laughs> I'm trolling. Oh yeah, wait, 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 Nap, we have, we have the thing for you. I know you love moon veils. So we have this set up just for you. Ah, uh, hang on, I gotta get avoid getting hit by that. Oh, he lagged. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's the no moon veil 9000. I love it. It's honestly very fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So good. Whoop. Yeah, take that, get hit by that. Take a whipping. Oh the bloodhound step saved him hard there. Hey wizard. No. No. 
the poker. Ah, I would have parried that, but I thought he was going to attack also. <laughs> that actually saved him. <laughs> Being out of FP. There you go. That's for you. I made that for you. Octopus gone. And they're like, nice, now we can team them. But you know what? There's much more map to use to my advantage here. Oh, I accidentally hit that on my leg. Hey there. Yes, come into bubble hell. Yes, 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 yes. Fire another moon veil, would you? Ah, why did that not reflect? Go ahead, fire another one. I'm ready. Booty! Yeah, go ahead, fire another one. I'm waiting. Ha. I know about you. Oh, you're lucky you have Bloodhound Step. Those roll catches are on point. <laughs> um, you think you'll continue moon veiling? I might put it away. <laughs> okay, that one looked like a real disconnect. He was like crouch walking backwards right there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> that was funny. Cool. I know, like they don't even R1 with their Katana Man, they really only use the Moon Veil Ash of War the whole time. Until like they're out of FP and then I'll get a disconnect from them right at the end. Or like... Kya! No, yeah, my weapons are plus 17. Right now. Whoa, I've been like upgrading them as I upgrade my character level. I think 17 works well with 90, but I could be a little bit under leveled in terms of uh, weapon level. That was a good one, though. Too bad. That was a fun fight. Um, where else might have invasions down here? We can go to the Moog Death Pit. I didn't grab the map, but... Or we can... Hey, man. You know, I love the I love Landell. Landell's my favorite. Oh, interesting. I don't know what the invasion range is in level, by the way. But regardless, dude, if you... Uh, now, if we fought a team that had... Two phantoms that were easily like up upwards of 150 and they didn't stop using ashes of war and spells for I kid you not 15 minutes before I killed them. <laughs> I had to dodge and avoid for 15 minutes to even fight the team. It's pretty crazy. So the the leveling on phantoms needs some work. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go back on the stream later and watch how many souls I got from killing that one phantom that did not stop. It was just a spell railgun, man. <laughs> I want to know how many souls he dropped me. And, oh, yeah, that, no, that was a different one, him, him, uh, him, he name. Sorry, I can't English right now. But yeah, right after that, there was another one identical to that first one. It was it was back to back and it was hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, well, we only had that like one wave of bots today. It's a, it's a good day for YouTube. Three fifty k. Yeah, I don't even know what is that. Is that like a certain percent of what they need to level at that level? 
Oh my god, no. Oh wait, no. Bobble Gods was a nice guy. Hold up. I liked him. Um, he wasn't the, the dude that ran. Now, where were you? <laughs> where were you even? <laughs> where? Just getting knocked in the face by a colossal. <laughs> where were you, sir? I'm gonna need the coordinates. This is for you. Come here. Ugh. Now, if only we were in dark. Okay, honestly, his sword is not hitting a lot hard, though. That that ultra should be doing far more. Far more. <laughs> hey, look, we both have a colossal. Mine is stronger. <laughs> hey, I like this guy. Um, I don't know. What if we not really use the partisan? I like this flame thing. This flame thing is pretty cool. It does good damage, also. Our latency is kind of high, so I kind of want to try and trade into the fire here. Ah. Uh, I mean, it was a trade. Not a beneficial one, but it was a trade. Haha! <laughs> that was cool. I forget you can jump people in this. Like, how crazy is that? Fun fight, Bobble. This ain't backstab souls three. To, well, I guess one backstab souls one. <laughs> three was actually pretty fair. <laughs> yeah, that's just the beginning of the videos, eh? Not the live streams. <laughs> it's a really cool weapon, though. I like this thing's R1. And I like it. It has a good running attack. It's called the Guardian Sword Spear. Works on, like, a ton of different uh, builds. Although I think it's better strength scaling, naturally. It does have more strength requirements, so. Um, let's finish off somewhere interesting. I wish we got invasions here at 80. I've tried though; they don't, they don't seem to work. Even in like the frenzied village, which I think you go to later because of the dectus lift. I could try again, but. Yeah, they definitely need to nerf some damage across the board. Yo, my intro stays from the beginning of my YouTube. It doesn't change. <laughs> Never. Oh, when enchant. Yeah, you can make anything scale off of really whatever. I just meant naturally. I think without any infusement, it had a little bit more strength, but that's just because two-handed strength gets more bonuses. One-handed dex is the way, though, yeah. No, you go here before the lift. Sorry, I meant on the way to the deck disc lift. Like, I went here right before I went up. Did I say, I say after I meant before? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> no, the sky, the sky turtles will haunt me forever. That damn sky turtle riddle. <laughs> there we go. Bellum Highway. Oh, hello. Raiden. Raiden, hello. Hello, Raiden. How are you? That is an interesting looking weapon. Um, am I gesturing back at you? What is that? Wait, I said interesting. Is that a katana? <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want a freaking fist fight. Is that a moon veil? It's not! Oh, he's cosplaying. So cool. That's a long Ash of War. That was fair. Definitely fair. Oh, 
What was that, dude? Oh my god. Peer to peer moment. Yeah, dude. That was something else. He broke my guard instantly because all his hits came through the Lagnoverse. <laughs> uh, leave him alone. He he seems fun. We'll go somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> Looks fine. <laughs> I know he didn't heal at least. <laughs> That's good. But <laughs> I mean. That was true, he was using the power of Raiden, the lightning power. You can't see a move. It is known. It is known. Yeah, that was the Dragon Scale Katana. They had that in the network test. How do you feel about the bleed meta? It needs to be toned down. The bleed buildup is too fast. Much too fast. Uh, Jaeger. I don't think at any point should you be able to bleed somebody with one L1. And like, you can seppuku a curve sword and you'll bleed somebody with one L1. It's too strong. Like some of the other weapons are strong, but like that can like infinite kill somebody just by bleeding them constantly. So I think that needs to be toned down. Oh. Oh, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Griffith. I see we found another Connoisseur of the Moon Veil. Hello. What do you have? You have that, and he has Moon Veil, right? Like that's that's not not a Moon Veil. Yeah. Pretty safe to say it's a Moon Veil. <laughs> Griffith was like, "Hold up, what in the shit was that?" <laughs> He's not yet seen this before. Hello there. <laughs> Trying to bait me into attacking? No, no. Let's have our regen going here constantly. <laughs> He's hesitant. We're making him rethink his life decisions now with that. Oh, that hit me? I didn't think it would. They're still going, huh? I was already gone. Oh, I didn't want that second roll. Damn. As much as I love the meme of not having that, I need to kill the Moonveil guy more than meme on him. The second I put the shield away, he was ready, dude. Return to his Moonveil arts. I took out his main strategy all with one shield. <laughs> That's a different one. Okay, is he cosplaying Griffith well right now though, or like what? It's like, dude, get him off me. Get him off me. Get him off me, man. Get him off me. <laughs> oh, dead. Alive? Somehow alive? Oh, Jesus. Man, that stuns you for so long, actually. Hold up. I was stunned there a long time. Alright, let's go banish. You know what? We do we do Chad dual great swords. You're stuck, Jimmy. Oh my god. I guess it's getting late Eastern time. This is when I uh, would start getting really bad connections with anybody in a peer-to-peer -peer game. I think we'll do one more, because <laughs> they're going to all start to look like that. In fact, hang on. Where is... Yes. Yes, okay. At late in the night, you want that off. That's for sure. <laughs> all right, Dr. Brap, you have a good night, man. This will be my last invasion too. It's getting really late. I didn't realize it was already 10. I streamed so late.
Aw. Damn. Frostbite is pretty nice. Yeah, it works well on strength, honestly. It scales pretty well. Same with the fire. I actually like the fire a lot, too. Aw, oh, it's tough. They're a good balance together. GG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a GG for sure. Bam! I did start super late, yeah. I was uh, making a, a checkup appointment with a doctor because I haven't been to the doctors in like eight years. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> so I was like, yo, it's probably time for me to do that. Sounds about right. Kiaru! Oh god, Rivers of Blood, okay. Hi there! Oh, that's not Rivers of Blood. That's blood, though. Woo. Hey there. Ciao. Very anime. Oh, that has good bleed buildup for a rapier. <laughs> ah, yes. Alright, so we won the honor fight. Now it's from here, the dishonor fight. All goes. <laughs> Better grab that flask! Ah, <laughs> uh, let's use the lance. Oh, that comes in quick. Nice. Oh yeah, that is the range, man. More than you think. It's cool. I think it's got good iframes as well. A good finish. A very good finish. Cool! <laughs> GG though. Yeah, it does, because you can just deke with it. It does look super cool. Alright, I guess we'll call it there, boys. Here is the build for you guys, if I didn't show it in a while. Level 90. Um, I was just using ice uh, and fire weapons, mostly. So when I frostbit someone, I could reset it with the fire. Fire had really cool Ashes of War. I like all, all the weapons I used today, really. They were a good time. I'm going to look for someone to give a nice toast to. Yo, Drift. They're fine, fine, fine. Only because you're my bro. I'll go do one more for you. Uh, in lane, Dell, though. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'll do one more, though. When your bro asks something, you know, I usually do it. Thank you. <laughs> Chase Isaac Hadron. One more you, Bleb. Thank you later, chat. If That's you funny. need some tests, I can hit up church slash nap. If he is not busy stroking his beard, that is. <laughs> that ending though. But yeah, I do want to test some things actually. I'm going to eat and then do some of that. What's my real name? Oh, Chase Isaac Neutron, yes. You can tell by the size of my head. Mega Mind. <laughs> Thank you so much though, Drift. <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying it too. I haven't been catching any of your streams at all. Because you stream like kind of when I do or when I'm sleeping. I haven't been getting up early lately. All right. Woodsy. Ha. Huh. Oh shit, that was too slow, boys. We have meme potential here. High meme potential. Unless they come up that. Hey, boys. What are we doing? What? Okay, I've been bamboozled. I've been had. Hey, Blue. Where's the rest of the squad? One. Two. Three. Four. Four pokes. Um. Where's the host at? He went up the elevator, I see. Hmm. I'm holding my shield up. This is a bit sketchy. Hey there. 
Where'd everybody go? This way. Um. Oh, they're up top. No. Taste my flame claymore when I get there. <laughs> Four pokes. <laughs> Seven. Seven bats. What's that from? That must be from a comedy movie episode. Maybe Family Guy. I have that stuck in my head. Ah, uh, oh, okay. We're getting another full team here. This could be a good one. They're off to grab their brother. <laughs> Wait, man, I need like a blast type of weapon art for corners. That could be really funny. Just surprise them all. I guess, I guess Giant Hunt is good if I time it well. <laughs> Sesame Street, wow. Bring me back to when I was like four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the vampire, Count Chocula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. That dude, uh, the fact that so many of you know that's from Sesame Street. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you know, I was a kid at one time. I watched Sesame. No, I didn't really, actually. I watched some Caillou, though. Count Chocula. <laughs> I think that was from Family Guy, actually. Ah, oh, man, I want to try to hit, like, two or three of them at once because they're always running so close. I gotta give it a chance. This could be clip worthy. No! Why did you guard? <laughs> that could have been so good. I'm disappointed. Hello, Woodsy. Damn you, son, bro. My meme ruined entirely. Oh, that's lame. Hey there. You got a teammate behind you, and uh. I'm not going into a gesture. Because that's why! <laughs> Don't gesture at teammates ever. Never. Don't trust them. They're, they're lying to you. In fact, give me quick step. <laughs> Get your dragon breath out of here. Not as bad as, like, most things, though. Right, we got what one wizard what's the other one is it quality build maybe parkour oh you saved him so hard oh that was a good teamwork for him though honestly oh he caught me right out the doorway i'm gonna be taking this down i'll be on my way <laughs> Get some of our regen class going here. Um, let's see. What do we want to use? This thing actually probably has the potential to kill that one phantom. Um, what is this amazing helmet? It's the Banished Knight helmet. <laughs> Ow. Let's see. I think they're going to come down breathing dragon fire at me, I believe. Just my guess. I don't really have anything for like a big radius. I don't know how many times like I can use that dragon fire to be honest. That's kind of easy enough to dodge. <gasps> the rest not so much. They have a lot of like AOE. Hey there. Felling into my trap. Yes. Now you're distracted. I'm gonna wipe you. <laughs> Come back here, Woodsy. <laughs> now it's just me and you, man. Just me and you. I got my big old sword. That's a dead end, my friend. <laughs> that was good. Yo, I love this. I'm gonna look for what other weapons we can use with the flame strike that are the hardest hitting, because 
That does great damage. It's awesome. Hey, I'm glad I did that one. That was a nice one. Nice, nice. It is on most of the time. I don't know what depicts whether it is or isn't, but I've been hitting it most of the time. Sometimes they roll out, so I don't know what does that, but it seems like it is. Uh, but yeah, here's the build again, guys, while I look for someone to raid. <laughs> Hopefully someone's playing this late. I don't really... Let's see. If you guys want to watch some more Elden Ring, actually, yes. Uh, Marissa is playing Elden Ring as well. If you want to go keep watching anybody doing streams, she'll probably be live a lot later than I will, like midnight, 1 a.m. Tell her I say hello if you do go over. And I will see you guys all for the next stream. I'm not really sure if it's going to be Dex Faith or what yet. I'm going to look for the weapons that I don't have yet. Try to experiment with, with them tomorrow before I do the stream the next day. And I'll see you guys all then. Get some rest. Thanks for all the support. That was a great time. Good night, all.